Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Fine Tuesday evening to you all. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. What is up, Nightbot? Seapouts, Frosty the Giant, Daryl L, Indifferential, Sweater, Old Ben X, Wheel Dragon, Song of Dominia, uh, Zebulon Zero. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Blood Stasis Power Scene. Zazie Dusty. How is everyone tonight? Oh man, hello from the US, uh, Emilio Moore. I am so hyped tonight. We have not played Modern in a while, and oh, I really want to play this deck. I am really excited to play this deck. It's kind of similar to a deck we played a long time ago, but it's got some sweet changes, and I have no idea if this deck's going to be good, but boy, are we going to get people. We're just going to get people. We might lose every game, but there is is some mana lot tithe level gotcha stuff in this deck that oh it is it is what i love about magic the most it's just getting people and this deck is perfect for getting people so i'm super hyped uh, this is a deck that we could go 05 with and i am going to love every minute of it i think so uh, it's gonna be a fun one heavy weather and we're playing moto on uh, ugly old magic online for the first time in a while so that's uh kind of nice to break it up welcome to the fishbowl big scoops here for our new subscriber greetings from argentina raking canopy yeah that's uh, a <laughs> <laughs> a card I never expected would be a legitimate modern sideboard card, but it is oddly well positioned right now because it essentially is you can't win against uh, the Phoenix decks. I guess Thing in the Ice can still kill you, although I'm not super worried about Thing in the Ice, uh, <laughs> but Reiki can be hilariously good against Phoenixes. Uh, I missed your subscription. Oh, Verabit, I'm so sorry. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. And, uh, in the meantime, let me see, uh if we missed any since yesterday i think we got most of these uh, since we were streaming yesterday that's right we're on the i'm a real streamer now we're streaming two days in a row i do not know what's going on uh yes this is gonna be a fun one so anyway yeah modern magic online jank people out talk about the deck first off we should do some uh some reminders though yeah that's the plan blow up blow up uh some uh some lands and see what happens oh, i'm sorry very man although do you really expect me to get the number right i always say new subscriber that happens every time so reminders replay youtube uh with more streams we have more uh youtube uh replays so make sure to check that out if you missed anything we had a stream yesterday our first monday afternoon stream can we get a land destruction counter Ooh, that would be sweet i wonder how hard it'll be to update uh if it i there needs to be an automatic one like the donation stream <laughs> thing that just automatically counts destructed lands and uh and rolls them across the top of the stream that would be sweet zeligong welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big soup cheer for our new subscriber on the youtube channel uh we got some sweet stuff coming up playing mirror march see if you could guess take a guess at the card that i came across which i feel is the best card to abuse with Mirror March in Standard. I don't think you can guess it. This is the guessing week. There is some weird stuff. Uh, Commander Clash on Friday. I can't wait till that goes live. It is still my favorite kill of all time, and I can't wait for you to see it. But you will never guess the card that is comboing with Mirror March. I'm pretty sure. I will give you a hint. It is a former... It is a former Against the Odds All-Star. I think if you look back on uh, last year's Against the Odds, it's a card that I think was in one of the better episodes of Against Odds uh, last year. So uh, it, it's pretty funny. It's pretty sweet. I'm excited for it. So that's coming up on the YouTube uh, merch page. We have Fatal Scoops playmats back in stock. So if you're looking for a way to support the stream, the channel, the site, uh, definitely a way to do it. Tokens, playmats, all that stuff. It is not Nerumiha. Although, uh, if you played Omniscience Draft over the weekend, ooh, ding, 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 Wheel Dragon. That is a really good guess. I, that is a card that I stumbled across that I feel is uniquely good with Mirror March because Hasty Time Stream Navigator Token, you can activate it right away and then the original is still sticking around so you get at least two turns if you get lucky with your flips. Uh, although... I'm so bad at flipping coins. It's really amazing how unlucky I am. Every time we do a coin flipping against the odds, it just confirms that I'm really unlucky. So, <laughs> hey, welcome, Cuddly Crocodiles. 
<clears throat> Good to have you. Thank you uh, for hanging out. So merch page, finally, donations, always appreciated, certainly not required. Two dollars or more gets your message read on stream, and we've had a ton lately, so thank you so much. Kwai Palibo with a resub. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Well, Against Odds coming out tomorrow, so if you want to see where I ended up with Mirror Marge, I tried a lot of decks for this one. Sometimes with Against Odds, I like literally build a deck and it works enough and I like it and I play it. I think one, two, three, four, I think I built five, five or six Mirror Marge decks before I finally got to the one that I wanted to play. So we went through a lot of options to find a Mirror Marge deck that I that I really liked. I Oh man, the deck that I wanted to do, and all right, uh, one more against the odd story and then we'll get into it, this deck. The deck that I think is really sweet, probably the the sweetest combo is definitely Nabon. We had that um, Mirror March Wizard deck tech a while ago, and Nabon with Mirror March is actually really insane. It's pretty easy to, like, have Nabon, have a Mirror March, play a Vishino Pyromancer and get, like, 10 damage with the double, everything double triggering, Mirror March double triggering. The problem is, ugh... The wizards are so fragile, for one thing, and they're all cheap. So you you want not many lands in your deck because you're playing all these cheap wizards, but then you also need to have a way to cast a six mana enchantment. So I ended up not going the wizard direction, but if you want to try something cool, cast wizards with a Nabon and a Mirror March out, and really sweet stuff does happen, even though the deck's not very good. Filthy Rascal for the 17th month in a row. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber missing some regionals decks Ooh, i will uh i will have to ask richard he does all the deck list end of things so i will mention it to him i assume they will be going up uh maybe they just haven't gone up yet but if not i will ask him about it so anyway let's talk about this deck as you can see we are on magic online for the first time in a while yes uh there is that's another reminder monday streams now two eastern on monday our big new thing a load in for the second month in a row Love the Monday stream. Finally, some Seth Goldmain for Europeans. Yeah, I think the feedback was really good. People seemed to like the time slot. There was a surprising number of North Americans that made it and were watching like during work and school, and it seemed great for European viewers. So definitely planning on it sticking around. Uh, any reason not to use old Border Pendlehaven? I don't think I have a copy. Um, I think that's the issue. I think I had to borrow this one, and that's just the cheapest one that they gave me. So we have the ugly, the ugly Pendlehaven. Anyway, let's talk about this deck, because I'm super hyped for this. So today, uh, I'm calling it Mono Green Land Destruction. I don't know the best name for this deck, but this deck, it's kind of similar to a Mono Green Land Destruction deck we played a while ago. The plan, it is super janky, but it's really simple, and I don't know how effective it is, but it's going to make people miserable. So here's what we're trying to do. Step one. We have a bunch of one mana ramp. Arbor Elf, Utopia is probably the fastest. Also, Elvish Mystic and Land of War Elves to get us up to our big things faster. And what are we trying to get into? Well, first off, we have Trinisphere, which kind of just makes everything cost three mana and really slows down decks. So we stick Trinisphere to make things expensive. And then the next step is to start making it so our opponent can't really play anything by blowing up their lands. So we have Acid Moss, which blows up land and ramps us. We have Acidic Slime, which blows up land. We have Primal Command, puts land on top of the deck, also can search for Acidic Slime or whatever. And we also have two Plow Unders, two, two, which puts two lands on the top of our opponent's deck. So ramp into start messing with our opponent's land, hopefully with Trinisphere to further slow things down. And then we also have some pretty sweet jank. Stampeding Suro is really hilarious if we can tutor up with Primal Command and have like an Acidic Slime. It lets us pick up our Acidic Slime in every turn, so we just keep blowing up our opponent's one land. It can also pick up our Eternal Witness, another good Primal Command target. And then for finishing the game, we have Hornet Queens, we have Walking Ballistas, Vivian Reed, not really sure the exact plan for that. Card advantage, maybe blowing stuff up. I guess it's another win con if it ultimates. But the card I am most excited for in this deck 
is Repudiate Replicate. And in Repudiate Replicate, we do not have blue mana. I guess we could put Utopia's Brawl on blue, but we're playing this as a mono green stifle. So ideally, we could just get opponent's fetch lands as early as turn two. Like, imagine this scenario. And this is what I'm hoping happens, is we go first, we play a land, our opponent goes, they play a fetch land, and because our opponent is playing properly, they don't crack the fetch, they wait till our end step. So they pass back to us, we play a land, they go to crack their fetch, and we repudiate them. That has to be... Hey, <laughs> what's up, Zach? That has to be the sweetest thing that you could do in Modern because it's like mana tide levels of got you. No one is going to expect your mono green deck to stifle a fetch land on turn two. That is not a thing that anyone is ever going to expect. Also, a more practical purpose is uh, really good with Plow Wonder, because one way an opponent can get their draw steps back is cracking a fetch land. So if we can Plow Wonder and then repudiate the fetch land crack, we're able to uh, we're able to keep our opponent from shuffling and force them to draw the lands. So that's basically the deck. Make our opponents miserable, eventually win somehow with janky green things, walking ballistas. Sideboard-wise, Graveyard Height and Tormod Script and Scavenger Goose and Graph Tigger's Cage, so a bunch of Graveyard Heat spells, Ratchet Bomb to sweep away cheap things, more Ballistas, eh, if we need to deal damage, Bayloth for life gain, and then Raking Canopy, a new addition to the modern sideboard Pantheon. Uh, really good against Phoenix decks, essentially. Uh, it makes it very difficult for Arclight Phoenix and Crackling Drake to ever kill you, so if we can get this down against the Phoenix deck, gonna be really difficult for them to win. They basically have Thing in the Ice, I guess, which hopefully we can deal with, so it's gonna be a Interesting. It is going to be very interesting. Have I ever tried Gotcha Tribal? That sounds like a great Against the Odds episode. I don't think we ever have. Run Fetchlands and Breeding Pool. I mean, we could. I think this... The other thing that's cool about this deck is it's like semi-budget. I think it's... 300 ish dollars because I think what you could easily do is run fetches, run shocks, uh, and then you can run noble hierarchs over elvish mystics and land war elves. And then you basically don't lose anything and you can cast replicate. And replicating an acidic slime does seem pretty sweet. Or like replicate eternal witness, get back replicate, replicate eternal witness, get back replicate, just keep ma <laughs> making a board full of eternal witnesses. I mean, $300 is pretty cheap for Modern. What's your opinion on the best tribal deck in Modern? Uh, probably still humans, I guess, if that counts. Why no Blood Moon? Well, hopefully we're just going to blow up all the lads. So, let's give this a shot. We're not going to change anything. Let's just jump into a league and and see how this actually goes. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do competitive. This, this feels like a competitive deck, right? <laughs> Mono Green Land Destruction? <laughs> Mono Green Stifle? Uh, yeah... Needs a second Suru. Well, we can tutor it up with Primal Command, so hopefully we can still find it. Do you do you think next time Omniscience Draft is up, you can do some videos? Yes. Uh, next time it is. That's something I want to do more of, is content for the special events on Arena. I keep pestering uh, Lee to put him up longer instead of just the weekend. Put him up for a week so we could do them on the stream and make content. The problem is, Joe Quiz knows. Welcome to the Fishbowl. <laughs> For the eighth month in a row, yes, the beard stroking is ready. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. The problem is that uh, by the time I record the video and get it up and all that, it's often over the event, so it feels weird to be posting videos for a dead format, so I wish they would leave them up a little longer for content. Jacob, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Uh, this hand's fine. Uh-oh, cavern? On uh, spirits. Hmm. All right. Well, spirits are coming. Reagan Canopy! Reagan Canopy! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot about Reiki Canopy. We spent so much time talking about how it's... <laughs> oh, talking about how it's good against uh... <laughs> Arclight Phoenix. It naturally just wrecks uh, spirits. MTG gets mopping for the seventh month in a row. Went 3-0-1 on my LGS last night with this deck. Also got my sticker yesterday. Keep up the streams. Hey, thank you, Gizmothing. Uh, and congrats on the finish. That's pretty uh, pretty good with this deck. How did you draw with this deck? Just run out of time after blowing up all the lands? Green screen is a little messed up. Uh, one thing I've noticed about green screens is... 
They are they are finicky. Any change any change to uh the lighting ends up Let me see if I can make it better. Whoa, that wasn't better. If yeah, if anything changes at all, it sort of messes up. Mm, black and white. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Thalia. All right, sure. Ooh, green screen. All right, I think that might be that might be about as good as it's gonna get. Hopefully, uh, maybe that's better ish. All right, opponent Thalia's and passes. Well, play a land, play Utopia's Brawl on. Huh. Hmm. I guess we can go. I guess we can go blue. Is it really worth it? I don't think it's worth it yet. Let's just go green. Play Elvish Mystic. Pass the turn. So we have a lot of mana. We'll see what our opponent does. We might be able to start Primal Commanding next turn. There's a sliver of something in the top left corner of the green screen. Can you shift the camera slightly? Yeah, you're right. There is a sliver of something. Ugh. That's making it worse. Oh, I'm looking on the... <laughs> I'm looking on the stream, which doesn't help. There we go. How about... How about that? That might work. Uh, opponent, Ether Vile. Ah, uh, greed screens. It still doesn't look very good to me. It's still, like, blurry or something. Why are green screens so hard? <laughs> Whoa. That's kind of cool. That's like an 80s, 80s music video. <laughs> hey, phone it. Sorry. Sorry, we're playing magic. I gotta stop messing with... <laughs> I gotta stop <laughs> messing with the screen screen. <laughs> mm. uh, Scoops is blocking opponent's life total. I think that's true. I guess we can block here. Scoops can uh, Scoops can chill out by the OK button. It might be the camera's focus. It's supposed to autofocus. It usually does. Hey, good morning from uh, US, Aaron Lake. I wish I was better at that aspect of stuff. Like the video... One, two, three, four, five, six. I wish I was better with that so I could make it look even more professional. Supreme Phantom. Okay. Opponent passes. We draw. Teak, welcome to the fish Fishful. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Oh, yeah, you're right. We do need stream mode, don't we? Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, Alright, play a land, and I guess we just run out a big ballista for now. Ballista for three. And pass the turn. Next turn we can start primal commanding, which can gain us life in, I guess we can get like a hornet queen. Pwned it. Selfless spirit. Hmm. Hmm. I wish we had our raking canopy. What do we do about this? First time watching live, trying to make mono blue good in modern. Ew. Let me take a look. So we could kill Thalia, kill Selfless Spirit, or kill Supreme Phantom. All right. Let's just let our opponent untap. See what happens. What's up, Salt Priest? Mono blue for modern. Oh. Uh, that looks that looks pretty reasonable. 
I don't know about all the one mana can trips. Maybe it's worth it. Opponent. Hollowed Fountain. Untapped. Mutavault. This is going to be big and annoying. Ugh. Combat. Attacks. Hmm. What do we do, chat? What do we do? Opponent has two cards in hand. We can block, shoot, shoot. Although, Violent Threat beats us. Do Scoop's Dragon Sugar just made its way to me in the Netherlands? Awesome! Uh, why is the stream early? Uh, it's We normally start at 6 Eastern. I think Streamlabs is messed up because of the time change here in the US. Yeah, if you want to see the complete deck list, uh, the deck command will take you there. <sighs> Alright, so let's... All right, let's block here. Shoot Thalia. Uh, Del Torbs, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Shoot Selfless Spirit. Shoot Selfless Spirit. No vial. Mm. All right. Oh, really? That is that is very very bad that that's what they had. All right. And another Thalia. Okay. Hornet Queen, Arbor Elf. So six mana, Primal Command. How much are we taking? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Primal Command, gain seven. Search for a creature. Hmm. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, we haven't blown up a single land yet, but we lost the die roll and our opponent got off to a fast start. We might just have to take Hornet Queen and hope that we get to untap. I think that's our, our best hope. Pass the turn. Take Hornet Queen, hope that we draw a land. If we resolve Hornet Queen, it does block these annoying spirits for a long time. So that's that's the plan. If we whiff on a land, it's pretty bad. Yeah, our opponent might be playing straight blue white. Hey Seth, your content keeps me uh, my PTSD in check. It allows my data progress at a normal rate. Well, I'm glad I can help, Ducky. Thank you so much for the kind words. Bonnet. <sighs> All right, sure. Huh? I don't know what our opponent's doing. Uh, the rise of half tribal decks makes me want to makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about these this trend in deck building where you're like, I'll just play so, a bunch of lords and then a bunch of creatures that are different creature types. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't see. Hardly any fetch lands. We might have to, unfortunately, take out Repudiate, which is a little sad. It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do much against our opponent's deck. Hey, what's up, Grim? Uh, yeah, Half Tribal. The rise of Half Tribal in Magic. Maybe I'm just behind the times. Maybe it's like how everyone used to think random discard was bad and then Hollow One like broke modern for a while and now everyone is like, ah, oh, maybe random discard isn't that bad. Yeah, there used to be music, but the unfortunately there was some YouTube 
issues uh, with copyright stuff. So now, unfortunately, there is not music. I would love to have music on the stream uh, if it was if it was possible, but right now it's not, unfortunately. Trinisphere. Trinisphere is kind of okay. Well, it's not actually that good. There's ether vials. Maybe we go down Trinisphere's, go up Walking Ballista, go up Ratchet Bombs. All right, let's try it like that. Try it like that, see what happens. We get to play first, which is nice. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. No ramp at all. This is a slow, slow hand. Hey, good to have you, love and life. YouTube's copyright system is uh, uh, is very problematic and easy for people to game. That is one of the big issues with it. That's where we ran into trouble before. So turn two ballista, turn three. I really hate mulliganing. If we mulligan, you know the hand, ugh, it's going to be bad. And then we go to five, then we scoop. Solo gamer, welcome to the visual. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Well, this is essentially the same hand, but with less lands. All right. I mean, I guess we got to keep it. We can't just keep mulliganing. If we draw something, land. All right, we'll keep the land. I guess we can cast a Ballista for two pretty quick, which is not nothing. I guess we Ballista and try to kill things and then get back Ballista with Eternal Witness and just keep doing that. That might work. I mean, we have ramp. These Eternal Witnesses don't look very great in this hand, but... All right, Forest and Utopia Sprawl on green. Pass the turn. Opponent. Crags flooded strand. Uh, this is our first match. Opponent gets a tap land, passes. I'll play the forest, play Utopia Sprawl. Also on green. Pass the turn. No Ether Vial's good. That we do like. Planes and Is this meddling mage walking ballista? <laughs> oh. What is our opponent playing? <laughs> what is what is going on? <laughs> what is happening with this deck? That's also not a spirit. How can you play spirit lords in this? Couch magicians. <laughs> Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops cheer for our new subscriber. I mean, I guess that's technically a spirit. We draw more lands. Well, get in with a turtle witness. Hit our opponent. Play Suru. Pass the turn. We really need, like, a primal commander something. Something to make these eternal witnesses into actual cards. This meddling mage is ugh, brutal. Mausoleum Wanderer. I, this deck building, <laughs> I do not know about this, opponent gets in, hits us for three, come on raking canopy, for the love of God, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Oh, that's another Ballista that our opponent's non-spirit meddling mage is locking out. Supreme Phantom. Self of Spirit. Well, looks like that's game, boys and girls. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, yeah, there's just nothing. 
All right, sure. Well, that was that was brutal. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Not the start we were hoping for. I guess technically we sort of destroyed a land as we were scooping. Oh, that was disappointing. Hmm. <laughs> well, on to the next one. We did not get anyone in that game. Not even uh not even a little. Ugh. Ill, 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 ill. All right, all right, all right. Own one. Oh. Well, that makes the meddling mage choice make a little more sense. I don't like to uh, accuse people of stream sniping because you never know, but it does make it does make uh, the meddling mage and everything else make a lot more sense. Ugh, more die roll losing. Well, I guess we'll keep this hand. We have ramp. We could really use a Utopia Sprawl. That would be great. Jaguar, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Ponet, do it some bulletin egg. Well, I mean, if we can ramp into this Plow Wonder, it could be good. It's a lot better on the play, but it could still be good enough, depending on what. All right, Tron. Oh, man. Come on, land destruction. Come on, mana. Primal Command. Oh. You know, one thing I noticed, I actually think that this deck does need fetch lands because we've had a lot of eternal witnesses that we would love to just be able to get a land with. Like that would make us incredibly happy to just be able to eternal witness back a land. So I feel like adding fetch lands, if we keep losing, we're probably going to update this deck and try again uh, with fetch lands. Jaguar, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber land. <laughs> if we draw a mana source, this hand is like auto win against Tron. Oh lord. They're gonna top deck Tron. You know they're gonna do it. Chromatic Sphere. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Phone it. Green mana, ancient stirrings, power plant tower. They need a mine. They hit an expedition map. Land, land. There's the map. Oh come on, come on deck, come on mono green. You could do it. Okay. Oh, we did hit a land. Now we get to. Now we get to win. Now we should be able to win. Ha! Oh! Huh. Okay, we got there. We got there. Uh, blow up power plant. Grab a land. Yeah, now our opponent should not be able to do anything. Wow, we made it close. We made it close. Gave our opponent a chance. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh. Okay, we got there. Yeah, that's uh, a pro Magic Online only promo <laughs> with the cat. I don't really understand the ancient stirrings aspect of that art, but it does look cool. Yeah, Plow Under, we're hoping they have to crack the map here, and then Plow Under might just get the concession, actually. But, oh, they're not going to crack it? Pwn it. Play it to our Plow Under. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Tron. Scoop. <laughs> this this is making up for the first game that went rocky. <laughs> uh, and yeah, there we go. That is more what our decks wanting to do. <laughs> uh, Tron with no Tron lands, and we got him. We got him. Blue Eidolon MTG, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Uh, acid moss. We played. We played two acid moss. Acid moss. <laughs> uh, that's how. That's how I say it. Uh, all right. So against Tron, we don't have much, but we don't need much. 
because our main deck is basically already Tron Hate. I actually don't know if we change a single thing. I think we just literally run it back. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun. We got crushed by Spirits in round one, but I'm having fun. No changes. We're the Tron Assassins. Ugh. I think this hand's too slow against Tron on the play. We're going to mulligan. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. Put on top. Yes. <laughs> Chromatic Sphere. We could use some land destruction. That would be nice. We have the combo if we get land destruction. Play Elvish Mystic. Pass the turn. I mean, Tron isn't the reason we're playing it, but it is nice that we're playing a deck that actually actually does beat up on Tron, theoretically at least. Oh, if we can get a map with this, that would be pretty good. <laughs> I do think we we should add fetches still. I think it might be a case where we do, if our matches keep going quick, we might be able to upgrade it and keep going. Opponent. Ooh, Sylvan's crying. Come on, land destruction. Get some mine. And passes. I play a forest. Play Utopia Sprawl. On green. Play Utopia Sprawl. I guess we'll put this one on blue in case we want to repudiate. All right, pass the turn. Why not just regular Ponza? Do you think this deck gets better with Wild Growth if it was printed in Modern Horizons? Wild Growth would be absurd for decks like this. Having eight copies of Utopia Sprawl, essentially, to go with Arbor Elf, that would really make these decks a lot more scary. Because that is the best thing these decks can do, is Arbor Elf Utopia Sprawl. Chromatic Sphere. Oh. Oof. <laughs> I don't know if we want to tr stifle that. Come on. Plow under. Plow under. Land destruction. Primal command. Land. All right. Oh, hmm. Play the land. Get in with Elvish Mystic. Ugh. This is scary. This is a little scary. Can we not stifle that? Activated or triggered ability. Oh, it's a mana ability. You're right. Ugh. We have a new donation. Good call, Zach. Oh, no. That's that's natural trod, Ponet. Jaguar with a $25 donation, Ponet. Ugin. Eh? <laughs> 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 Gotcha. Now we gotta draw Primal Command to get rid of this Ugin. <laughs> that, that wasn't all that effective, but... <laughs> Jaguar with the $25 donation. Hey Seth, great news. I got back in North America and will soon be able to catch your streams at not 6 a.m. Uh, it also means I can build me some budget decks and hit an LGS where they speak my language. Ooh. Well, thank you so much for the donation, Jaguar, and welcome back to the U.S. Yeah, that, uh, that'll be sweet. Ugh, ass and moss. Hmm. I think this is a case of too little too late. We needed this a turn to go, but now our opponent just rass all of our stuff. Uh, Ethanomech and Noismo, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscriptions. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Who bought it? How do we get rid of an Ugin? I don't think we really do. Ugin gets rid of all of our stuff. Ugh, we missed out our acid boss a little too long. What's up, Tados? Oh boy. Reassembles Tron. Urza's mine. Yeah, having no land destruction is not ideal. Bonet. Oblivion Stone. Well, joke's on you. You already, <laughs> already exiled all of our permanents. Opponent. Cracks. Yeah, I think we're close to the concession part of the game. Chromatic Sphere. Opponent's still going. Light up the Ferox. 
Ooh. I mean, that looks... That's interesting. That's a lot of spells for a Ferox deck. Alright. Well... Yeah, there's... I don't think there's any way that we get out of this, unfortunately. Definitely no. Alright, well, run it back! We're on the play! We need a land destruction spell. Oh, we just... We have ten. Ten land... Actually, more. Twelve? Twelve land destruction spells. We need... We need one of them. We need one. Uh, no Blood Moons in this. It's a mono green deck. I think it's supposed to be a somewhat budget-friendly deck. Is Viewer Committed Commander Clash next Friday? So... The call for Viewer Submitted decks is going up in Friday's episode, I believe. But by the time we get the decks and record, it'll be a couple weeks until the episode is live. Mulder Gaming, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. We need a land, that's all we need. If we draw a land, this is beautiful. And Trinisphere slows our opponent down, and they're mulliganing. Turn to Trinisphere, draw land, Acid Moss, Acid Moss. Trust the magic gods. We just trust the magic gods. Utopia Sprawl, green. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Pass the turn. Uh, I mean, Trinisphere is actually pretty effective against their non-finishers. Having to pay three for all of their cycling cards is actually pretty good. Yeah, Magic Gods is on uh, the list of is on the list of emotes that I believe is coming. Urza's Tower for our opponent expedition map. All right, and opponent passes. Stifle. <laughs> Land oh, ballista. Well, play Trinisphere. Do we draw lad? Oh no! I feel like the dream might be dying. Phone it. This is gonna be the mold of five turn three Tron hand mine. All right, this is it. Do we draw a land? Do we draw a land? Oh, we do. Thank goodness. Okay, we draw a land. Blow up tower. Oh, we got there. Uh, ballista is just better than anything in our sideboard it's not good in the matchup but we just have literal zero sideboard cards for tron probably because we have 12 main deck land destruction spells all right blob the land opponent tutored up the tower sure we should be good i mean more land destruction would be fine but <laughs> a crying seth emo that could be funny pendle haven I'll uh, play Pendlehaven. Blow up tower again. Grab a forest. And now our opponent can't even really cast anything. This is where Trinisphere is actually pretty sweet. Pass the turn. Come on! This is where Eternal Witness is great. Basically, our whole deck is great here. Forest. Opponent can't cast anything. Trisphere locked. Passes. Well, except for lands. Our whole deck, apart from lands, is pretty great here. Well, Ballista X4. Pass the turn. Yeah, you only ever really need one Trinisphere. Plow Under is great. Eternal Witness is great. Four is for our opponent. Would you like to cast a three mana something? I mean, worst case, we just try to get there with Ballista if we don't draw anything. Plow Under would be so insane here. It would be so good. Phone it, they good. Aw, well. Doesn't even kill the Tritosphere. Ping our opponent. Ping our opponent. 
ping our opponent. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll take four four life over a damage. Sure. Come on, yeah. Any any non land almost in our deck is sweet, especially land destruction or eternal witness. Hmm. All right. I mean, I guess this is another risk of the deck is that sometimes you just draw lands. Uh. Yeah, pass the turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bonnet. Thankfully, they're not to the point of putting together Tron yet, but we're kind of flooding out a bit. Opponent, Sylvan's crying. Oh, we're running out of we're running out of time. Yeah, there's a couple more cards. You can see the whole list in the in the deck area. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You could do it. Okay, Primal. Oh, that's that is a good one. That is what we were looking for. So Primal Command. Put on creature permanent on part on top of its owner's library. Search for a creature. So we'll put the tower on top. Search for a creature. Creature will be Eternal Witness. Cast Eternal Witness. Get back Primal Command. And this is where the deck starts to get close to the lock part of the game. Play the forest, because now we can do that again, get Suru to start bouncing Eternal Witness, and then we have our opponent essentially locked. Oh, man. This deck is sweet when it gets going. It is so sweet. Oh, man. I love beating Tron. Beating Tron is the best. Phone it. Passes. I mean, getting Witness gets us Primal Command, which can tutor up something else in the future. So, we... Primal Command. Non-creature permanent on top. Search for a creature. Eh, we'll just run it back. Tower on top. Search for a creature. Thank you for the cheer, Scarab. Definitely appreciate it. Bone it. Uh-oh. Aww. Alright. Sure. I mean, that's fine. We just can get another Eternal Witness. Get an Eternal Witness. Play Eternal Witness. <laughs> How's it going, opponent? Are we still are we still playing Magic? Or are you done? All right, all right. They're sticking it out. Get back, Primal Command. <laughs> we want to get to the point where we can get the Suru. But we're not there yet. Also, Trinisphere is protecting us from, like, a surgical if our opponent has it. Yup. Primal Command. Go. Vote it. Oh, yeah. Plow under Eternal Witness, Suru. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how anyone gets out from under that. Oh, they're done! Vote it. They're just done. They're done? Oh, uh, we would have drawn... <laughs> So he would have had two primal commands going. Huh! This deck, that feels like a good matchup. When the deck gets going, it is pretty spectacular. <laughs> and we got to repudiate a, an Ugin activation. <laughs> That's something. That's something. Yeah, our opponent, so good at drawing Urza's Tower. I'm impressed. That was like three turns in a row. <laughs> That's a, an amazing ability. It's almost like they had a vampiric tutor or something, <laughs> putting it on top of their deck. Uh, we don't have a land destroyed cow, unfortunately. We do have land destruction. We haven't actually destroyed many lands. We've mostly just bounced them repeatedly. Well, okay. Arbor Elf into Acid Moss into Vivian Hornet Queen. That seems fine. The dream's alive. The dream is definitely alive. 
Bam Flash was so much fun. I forgot to mention that during our reminders. It's definitely a cool deck, and you can do some uh, can do some cool upgrades as well. Oh boy! All right, here they come. Swift Spear. So stickers, the reward command. If you were a sub, you can grab a sticker for free anywhere in the world. We will send it to you. Play a mountain. Play. Yeah, we gotta play Arbor Elf. See if it lives. So, opponent's probably on Mono Red Phoenix, according to Nightback, uh, Nightbot. The treasure deck we played in Standard was pretty fun, too. Opponent, Forked Bolt. Yeah, that slows us down. Sure. We don't have much life gain in the main deck. That is for sure. Down to 16. Ooh. Ooh, Trinosphere. All right. Utopia Sprawl. Trinosphere seems good against our opponent's deck. On green. Oh, if that Arbor Elf had lived. All right, opponent, what do you got? How much damage may you do us? There's a land. Combat. Deathfield. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Hits us in passes? Okay. Well, play a land. Acid Moss. Blow it up. Grab a land. Pass the turn. I can't believe our opponent did nothing last turn. Ramanon Bruins. Soulscar Mage. Opponent. Gets in. Down to 14. Pendlehaven. Hmm. Ugh. Yeah, play Vivian. Take up Vivian. Two acidic slimes and an eternal witness. Huh. I guess we take eternal witness? I was kind of hoping we just hit a land, but eternal witness is fine. Pass the turn. A guy called Squid. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. I think our opponent would be would have been burning us if they had a bunch of burn spells. Well, all right. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, and maybe they had been slow rolling, waiting for another creature. It felt like our opponent had a bunch of turns to cast stuff, but... I mean, worst case, maybe Vivian eats a bunch of damage? We'll see. We are kind of mono green control. Forked Bolt, our face. Opponent. Attacks Vivian. Changes her mind. Attacks us. Attacks us. Alright. That's a lot of damage. We draw land. Well, take up Vivian. Hmm. How do we get out of this? Take Suru. Play a forest. And I guess we just have to Hornet Queen to block? Make some dorks. We could still get burnt out here. If our opponent strings together burn, that could still get us. Next turn, we can get down a Trinisphere to slow our opponent down. Arclight. Not scared of Arclight in the least. That is very okay. Opponent. Oh, we might be stabilizing. Opponent passes. Utopia Sprawl. Well, take up Vivian. Take a... Hmm. Take... Eternal Witness. Play Utopia Sprawl on green. Play Eternal Witness. Get back Acid Moss.
play Trinisphere. And pass the turn. We can't Suru yet. We got to try to play around burn spells. All right. Gut shots Vivian. That's fine. Pass the turn. Now we want to start attacking the land so our opponent can't cast things at all through turn of sphere. That's where we want to be. Phone it. Hey, what's up, uh, Draven Runner? How are you tonight? Light up the stage. Sure. Manamorphose Mountain. Okay. Yup. Pwn it. Passing. I think we got it. I think we got it. Take up Vivian. Take a forest. Play a forest. Play Acid Moss on Ramen on Bruins. Get a forest. Play... Suru and pass the turn. Uh, yeah, no attacks yet. I mean, I guess we can ultimate Vivian, and that's pretty good. I think this is working. Ordered the sticker for Germany. Curious if it works. Uh, it will work. It might take a little while shipping overseas, but it will. It will get there. We're shipping them worldwide. Yeah, Gunshot does have scary art. Like, that does seem like <laughs> like way more than one twentieth of your life total is happening to whatever whatever that thing is. <laughs> Found it, big good. Yeah, now we have Ooh, alright. Wow, opponent's really fighting this Vivian. I guess they kinda opponent's done! Locked him! Maybe this deck is good! Maybe this deck is actually good! Whew! Okay! Well, 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 well. Uh, yeah. That was impressive. Do you think Elvish Spirit Guide could be in Modern Horizons? No. I think it's more likely that eventually Symbian Spirit Guide gets banned than, than, uh, than Elvish Spirit Guide shows up in the format. Uh, what do we do now? Didn't we 4 1 with. Uh, we might have. I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since we've played it. So, cards that are interesting. Scavenging Goose seems great. Obstinate Bailoff gives us some life gain. Raking Canopy. Also, Graph Digger's Cage if we really want to fight Phoenixes. I wonder. Do you think Raking can Canopy is good enough? I'm very curious if it's actually good enough. I don't know if it is or not. Like, it's good enough against the Izzet builds, but this deck has a lot of one-mana regular dorks. So, Bay Loss are interesting. Graph Digger's Cage. Maybe Canopies. How do we make this work is the question. That's a lot of cards to cut. I guess we can cut, like, one Llanowar Elf. One Acidic Slime. Maybe we cut... Uh, maybe we gotta cut Repudiate Replicate. They didn't seem to have many targets. Cut Replicate. We can probably go down, like, a Vivian. Maybe a Ballista. We're getting close. Graph Digger's Cage is not good. Yeah, Reagan Canopy is pretty good against Phoenixes. Uh, that's true. It stops... Uh, it stops Arclight Phoenix. Maybe that's too much. Maybe we don't fight the graveyard directly. Maybe we just trust Raking Canopy. I mean, if they get a Nut Phoenix draw, it's going to beat us, though. There's not, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do if they get the Nut Phoenix draw. We want Ballistas? I guess we can go down another Vivian. Ballista doesn't seem... Alright, well, let's try it like that. Close enough. We won't fight the graveyard other than scavenging ooze. Hmm. Uh, Alright. Utopia Sprawl, nothing. Acid Moss, Plow Wonder? 
We can mess with our opponent's lands pretty effectively. Krotzeus, uh, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. And Fake Sil Silver, welcome you as well. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I think we're going to keep it. It's close. If they have the super aggro draw, then they got us, I guess. Another Utopia Sprawl is not the worst. So Utopia Sprawl green. Pass the turn. This Hornet Queen does seem pretty good at just gumming up the board. Mountain. Ponet. Alright. Combo. Metamorphose. Yeah, Primal Command is great. That's one of our best cards. Swift Spear. And Lava Spike. Well, here comes the damages. That's a fast start. Let's see what we draw. Nothing. Well, land and Utopia Sprawl. Hmm. Yeah, this might... This is a little bit of what I was worried about with the hand being slow. Nasmith for the 27th month in a row. Do you think that Brainstorm that costed one blue would be fine for Modern? If so, do you think it would be safe in Modern Horizons? Well, welcome to the fishbowl. Uh, for 27 months, that is impressive. Big Soup's here for you. Oh, opponent's just going off. Yeah, we're dead. Well, this is where the too slow concern came in. <laughs> we probably should have Mulligan that hand. Uh, I'm glad we didn't bring in Graveyard Hate, though. I don't think we're going to change anything. Pony had a really fast hand. We kept a too slow hand. We'll be more aggressive mulliganing. I think I, this uh, that was game two. I think a one blue brains, uh, brainstorm would be fine. Will it show up in the set? Uh, that I don't know. Hmm. This hand leads to us not playing magic almost 100% of the time. Because they're going to kill the Arbor Elf. And even if we... Even if it lives, it's not good. Alright, we got a mulligan. Okay. This is better-ish. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl. Hmm. Trinisphere's great. Man, I wish we had Utopia Sprawl in our opener. Keep it on top. So turn one Arbor Elf, let's say it dies. We Utopia Sprawl on two. Eh, I guess we keep it. I'm a little worried that we just don't find a threat, but Arbor Elf go. It's high upside if somehow our Arbor Elf lives, if they just run out of one drop. It does not. All right, well, that's a thing. Play a Forest, play Utopia Sprawl. Well, let's see how good of a turn two our opponent can have. Opponent. Soulscar Mage. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Well. Uh, play Elvish Mystic. Play Trinisphere. And, uh, game. I think that's, I think that's what we call game. <laughs> Uh, especially with land destruction in our hand. Our opponent is not going to cast another spell. <laughs> Gets in. I mean, I guess we could just whiff forever, but they're a long way away from playing magic. Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> you can see our opponent tried to cast a spell, or started to try to cast a spell. Uh, alright, so we will, uh, blow up your one land. Are we done? Are we done? Time to move on? Round number three? Maybe the kids are going to be eaten after all. Opponent says, oof, that hurts. That is a fair description. Uh, we'll pass. <laughs> Come on, any piece of action. Phone it. Technically, they're winning the race at this point. Forest. Ew. Discards Arc Light. Well, that is never coming back from the graveyard. I guess we could whiff for a million turns and our opponent could draw lands. Phone it. <laughs> gets in <laughs> oh this game that is have a deed oh that's that's a good one Bailoff. that might seal the deal combat attack hit our opponent <laughs> well they we are helping them put their phoenixes in the graveyard 
I'm not sure how they ever get them back, though. Opponent passes. Wow, opponent's sticking it out. <laughs> uh huh. Vote it. Well, that is a sad plow under, but it's going to make our opponent sad if they ever draw land. Our opponent is not going to cast a spell for the rest of this game. <laughs> I guess we're seeing the, the power. Oh, boy. Oh, opponent. I'm sorry. Not really, but kind of. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, new plan. Ooze. <laughs> uh, eat a phoenix. Uh, eat a phoenix. Whew. Oh, boy, the blowouts. The blowouts. Eat a phoenix. Go attacking. I kind of don't want to kill our opponent and just keep messing with them, but that would be... That would be not very, not very respectful. Opponent, draw land, please. I want to max value this Plow Under. Blue cheese for the 14th month in a row. Plow Under is a sweet one. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. And our opponent, GG, us in the chat. And we are up to... Two and one. Two and one with... <laughs> this janky deck oh when it works it works when it works it really works <laughs> oh that was fun and that means we might be getting treasure chests it's possible that we're actually gonna open treasure chests yeah the, the winning record is confirmed it is i do like the idea of upgrading to simic i still like that idea Oh, Trinosphere's... Maybe Trinosphere is pretty well set up in this meta. It might be pretty well set up. Alright, what are we up against this time? Uh, Alright, we'll keep this on the draw. Keep it on the draw. Uh, we started at 6 Eastern Time, so it's been an hour and... Eh, 10 minutes-ish. Forest and Arbor Elf. Wow, Temple of Malice. What does Temple of Malice mean? Who plays Temple of Malice in modern? Oh, is this a... This might be... Uh, it's Grishol brand, I assume? Hmm. I'll play a land, play Arbor Elf. This does mean we could just die this turn. Get in with Arbor Elf. There is a risk that a big, hasty Grizzle brand just comes and kills us here. We'll see. Bone it. Grizzle Brand is Grishol Brand is one of the decks that I think improves the most under the new Mulligan rule. At least out of the top tier decks. Are we dead? Grizzle Brand, Cathartic Reunion, and we're dead. Okay. Well, that's Grishol Brand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they had it. This is a deck that I am not super excited about getting better thanks to the Mulligan rule changes. Like, I need to I need to do a opening hand. They might whiff. How are they gonna whiff? <laughs> They're drawing 14 cards and attacking with a grizzle bread to draw seven more cards. Like, even if they even if they whiff. There's no, like, how do we win from there? I don't think that there's any any way we win, even if they don't kill us that turn. There's just, uh, there's no pathway to actually winning the game from there. We have a new donation from Blue Cheese. Five dollar donation. Uh, it says, Seth, I own everything but Vivian's any cheaper alternatives or is she too important this is my kind of jank um I don't think Vivian is too important you could play huh I think you could definitely replace it I'm not 100% sure what the best replacement is though I'd have to think about it it's mostly just like utility slash card advantage I'm trying to think what in mono green is most similar you could play Garrick. Garrick doesn't draw you cards. It works well with the ramp plan, though. If you're in other colors, yeah, then you have more options. What are we taking out here? 
Walking Ballista feels dead. I mean, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have stayed in the game. I was thinking, uh... I still don't think there was a real... real A very realistic pathway to winning. Uh, but... I guess we should have let our opponent play it out there. Just to see what would happen, I guess. Uh, probably go down Vivian's. Repudiate Replicate. What does Repudiate Replicate do? It can stop fetch lands, I guess, mostly. Which our opponent doesn't play as much as some decks. I guess we can trim Repudiate Replicates. We mostly want our graveyard hate. I guess through the breach is another concern. Yeah, let's trim repudiate replicates. Let's uh let's write it like that. We get to play first. Well, alright. We got a Tormod script, so we're not gonna die on turn one. Little land light, but we'll see. So Forest, Arbor Elf, Tormod script. You. Wouldn't mind just drawing a land. That would be sweet. Opponent. Bloodstained Mire. And passes. Alright, there's a forest. So, tap, untap, and Trinisphere. Gotta slow him down. Pass the turn. This does slow us down to some extent, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, maybe it's worth it to try to stifle Grizzlebrand activations. I mean, I guess it does stop them from drawing a lot of cards. That is something. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is worth it. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Well... Arbor Elf. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have Anger of the Gods. That would really set us back. That would lock us under our Trita Sphere. Mountain. Night's Whisper. Okay. Come on, land. Land for Primal Command, please. Land. Well, that works. That gets us there the slower way, but it does work. Tap, untap. Trinisphere is especially powerful in this deck since we're keeping our opponent off of mana. Blow up a Blood Crypt. Get a Forest. And our opponent's not going to be able to combo off with... They're not going to be able to combo off through this Trinisphere. Swamp for our opponent. Faithless Looting. Sure, that's fine. Uh, we're playing some mono green land destruction, essentially. Basically just making our opponent miserable. This will also make our opponent miserable. Um, I think we could primal command. But maybe ooze is better? Do we want to ooze or primal command? Hmm. Yeah, looting is fair when it's three mana all the time. We could Primal Command get Acidic Slime. Ooze? Everyone's on the, the Scooze plan. Uh, we can get rid of Borborgamos and Faithless Looting. Yeah, Alright. Play an Ooze. Untap. Eat Looting. And pass the turn. Actually, let's just untap now. Untap a forest. Now pass the turn. Yeah, through the breach is a concern. That is an argument for the primal command line. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent. We're definitely going to have to go land destruction this time, I think. Uh... Eat more Borgamos. We have a new donation. AA1105 HK with the $5 donation. Says, all right, we draw a forest. Hey, Seth, do you have any advice for this mono blue affinity deck? It's based on mono blue, uh, on your mono blue Jin deck. Well, AA, thank you so much for the donation. And uh, let me pull up your deck list. 
All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Primal Command. Hmm. Non-creature permanent on top. Uh, this lets our opponent shuffle it away. Yeah, that's fine. Non-creature on top. Search for... I guess we just take slime? Yeah, I think our main goal now is to keep our opponent light enough on mana that they can't through the breach us. Because we have a lot of graveyard protection here. On top of land. Uh, so, Mono Blue Affinity. Ooh, that's uh, interesting. Spire Golem. Uh, I don't know about Spire Golem with only eight islands. That's something that jumps out right away. I think it'll end up costing a lot more mana than you're expecting. Faithless Looting. Sure. But that's definitely spicy. The swords are an interesting idea. Turning a sword into a creature is sweet. All right, opponent discards double Gorio's Vengeance, so they've given up on the graveyard plan. Eat a Faithless Looting. Man, Trinisphere has been... So <laughs> Slide Part 2. Trinisphere has been incredibly impressive in multiple matchups. Trinisphere seems like, with so many people playing Faithless Lootings and playing Manamorphose decks... 3-4. Next turn we hit for... Yeah, we're going to play it safe. Rather than get in for more damage, just leave up double graveyard spells. Hit our opponent for three. I mean, we're going to tax their land so hard that I don't think they're going to be able to win from here. Yeah, it looks like a, an interesting deck, AA. So Spire Golem sticks out, and then maybe... Huh. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely spicy. Not 100% sure on the swords, but it's a really cool idea with the swords. Hey, I'd love to uh, check it out, 300 Spartans. Alright, opponent doing their things. Sure. Uh, whatever. Eat a Gorya's Vengeance. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, this deck is sweet. This deck is super sweet. Opponent passes. So we pay this for three. One, two, three, four. Hmm. All right. Sorry, Utopia's Brawl. We will just Acidic Slime. Blow up a land. Man, this deck is good at making opponents not be able to play magic. That is for sure. Untap a land. Hit our opponent for five, and I think that does it. I don't know how our opponent gets out of this. We just we just locked him. This is like mono green prison, essentially. Pwn it, down to five. Uh, Blue-white Tron. Ooh, pwn it. No land. Passes. Well, let's go mercy killing. We could keep blowing up lands, but we'll just, we'll be nice and just attack and kill our opponent. An opponent scoops it up and tried to be unfair, and we were able to stop it. They got us good in game one. Blue-White Tron. Ooh. Ooh, that is... I've seen Blue-White Tron before. I have not seen Eldrazi dipl uh, Displacer in Blue-White Tron. That's interesting. The Displacer idea intrigues me. It's definitely sweet with, uh, with Drowner of Hope. Huh. Definitely one of the more unique Blue White Tron decks I've seen. Definitely spicy. I like Displacer saving I Iona's and Elish Norns, potentially. And I guess it's good at slowing down opponents in a weird way. What deck do you like more? Mono Green, Land Destruction, or Ponza Monicon? Mm. I mean, one of them is Panharmonicon. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a question? Maybe we just go down another Vivian and go up another Repudiate Replicate. I guess it does have some some purposes and run it like that. Uh, 
all right, this hand, turn one Mystic, turn two Scavenging Ooze? Huh. Opponent's keeping seven. On the draw, I'm not sure this is fast enough. We might just be dead. Uh, this hand is good, though, if we're not dead. Uh, I do not believe I am going to Pax East. The odds of them killing us quickly are just so high. I mean, we have a Scavenue's activation on turn two. I mean, how many cards do we have that stop a turn two kill? Four? So our odds of mulliganing into one is not that high. I think we got to keep it and hope that they can't. Our odds of hitting something that stops the turn two kill isn't high. And then this hand is pretty good if we just go along. Ugh, all right, we're going to keep. I don't think we can do better. Hey, what's up, Allie? I don't I don't think our six is likely better than this. Yeah, since we have a ooze activation. I mean if they have the literal nut draw, then then they got us. There's not anything we can do about it. But if they don't have literally kill us on turn two, then ooze can buy us time. And then we're working towards our land destruction. Alright, looting. So they need Gorio's Veggies, Grizzlebrand, and Simeon Spirit Guide in a land. So they need a lot of pieces. TH, welcome to the fishbowl. There's a lad. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. I have a super fun Commander Clash deck for you to uh to use and watch em um, rage. Ooh, that sounds fun. We're doing a viewer submitted week super soon, so you will have to you will have to uh, send it in for viewer submitted week. All right, play scavenging ooze. Pass the turn. Well, we got defense a little bit at least. Bone it untaps. Swamp. And looting. We would like to get to land destruction as well, so we can not die to through the breach, which is getting closer and closer. Ooh, all right, opponent passing. Well, eat border border gimmos. Untap. There's a land. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> uh, decisions, 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 decisions. <sighs> so here's where we're at. This is a weird position. If we don't acid moss. We risk Simeon Spirit Guide through the breach. Big thing we lose. If we do Acid Moss, we risk Faithless Suiting, discard Big Thing, Gorio's Vengeance, we lose. We have already seen one Faithless Suiting and one Gorio's Vengeance discarded. The discarding of Gorio's Vengeance <laughs> either means our opponent is off the graveyard plan because of our ooze, or it means they have multiple vengeances and don't need a second one. Yeah, the forest comes in to play tap, though. It gets a tapped forest. Yeah, if we had one more mana, life would be super easy. The other option is just, like, play Elvish Mystic and wait until next turn to try to Acid Moss and hope to dodge. They would need Simeon Spirit Guide. That might be the best turn. That might be the best plan, I think. Dank Earthkin, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. So play, yeah, play Elvish Mystic. We're going to wait. 
hit our opponent. It's just so risky to go shields down. Next turn, I mean, if they have Simeon Spirit Guide through the breach, big thing, out of their five cards, then hats off. Okay, that's good. That means our opponent would need two Simeon Spirit Guides. Opponent passes. Well, I don't even know if there's a point to eating stuff, but I guess we might as well, because why not? Eat, eat, untap. Oh, well, that makes it super easy. Play Tormod Script. Untap. Play Acid Moss. Now we got to keep him under the number of lands for Through the Breach. That's our main goal now. Hit our opponent. And we do have land destruction for multiple turns. Opponent. Hit him. Oh, this could be close. Bloodstained Mire. Oh, dear. Cracks Bloodstained Mire. That's a scary sign. Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, huh. That's a thing. Well, go up. Is there any way... Is there any way we can survive these worms? We're at seven. Graft diggers. Ah, oh, graft diggers cage. How can we survive from here? I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the line. I'm not seeing any line from here. Uh, you can't spin a worm. You can only hit non-creatures. If we slime, we die, right? We play slime. These have trample. We'll have one, two, six, seven, eight power, and our opponent has 15 power, so we're dead. So our only line is primal command just to stay alive. But then we go to 15. Uh, now we have to chump with scavenging ooze. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's easy to say you could have lived if we land, uh, cast land death twice in a row, but I feel like that's kind of hindsight bias because we could have, our opponent's end very easily could have just killed us if we tapped out, so I don't know. I think that's, I think that's more hindsight bias than anything else. Because if we did that and then died to <laughs> died to Gorio's Vengeance, which is the name of the deck, then we'd be saying, oh, well, you should have definitely left up that ooze activation. Uh, all right, well, we can untap. I don't think there's anything in our deck that gets us out of here. The double chump is especially brutal. So we get to Primal Command, gain seven... Search for a creature. We go to 14. We're going to have five mana-ish. Yeah. None of those creatures do it. And we don't have... Yeah, we don't have any ratchet bombs or anything. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Primal Command can only bounce non-creature permanents. Ugh, that was a tough one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we chose the right line or not, but definitely a a tricky, tricky situation. 
We don't have mana for Queen, unfortunately. I mean, I guess at the same time, our opponent did need a five-card combo or something. Green card, Nourishing Shoal, Through the Breach, another big creature. So they had to have a pretty perfect hand for that to, uh, for that to actually work. Ooh, let me see. Luke's not dead. Well, let's see if we can win this one and finish with a 3-2 and at least get a treasure chest out of it. Ooh, Boggles action, A eh? Going into red and Boggles. Hmm, interesting. Pretty, uh, pretty budget-friendly-ish. All right, we get to play first. I don't think we have won any die rolls. I feel like this is our first die roll win. Now, this hand's pretty good. We're just going to Utopia Sprawl to guarantee Trinisphere on turn two. So, Utopia Sprawl and Greed. Normally better to lead with Llanowar, but Llanowar dies, and I really want to play this next turn. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Relic. Ugh. All right. Well. <clears throat> new plan. New plan. We're going to... Utopia Sprawl. I think our opponent is playing Scape Shift, and against Scape Shift... Trinosphere seems kind of meh, but being able to cast one of these spells on turn three seems good. Wooded Foothills. I mean, if it's Ponza, then we're going to get blown out, probably. All right, yeah, definitely Scape Shift. Start a Commander article website about deck building. Where would... Uh, I'd like to start a Commander article website about deck building. Where would you suggest to start any site where to start? Um, Tomer's articles are... Could be good inspiration. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four... Five. Alright, let's primal command. Stomping grounds on top. Search for eternal witness. Well, I don't know if we want eternal witness, because they have relic. Hmm. I guess we just take acidic slime. Yeah, let's take Acidic Slime. Play the land. Pass the turn. Uh, EDH Rec is also uh, is also another good option. Yeah, I think Slime is the way to go. Since our opponent has Relic. Cash is in the Relic. So we got rid of the Relic, at least. Opponent. Land. Untap. Down to 15. Farseek. Well, opponent's fighting and clawing. Trying. Gets a Farseek. Up to 4 mana. For the time being. Not gonna last. Opponent passes. Forest. Well, this makes it easy. Now we get to Acid Moss. Get a forest. Trinisphere. Pass the turn. We still do need a fast threat to close out this game. Our opponent will draw lands eventually. Opponent. I mean, I think it's a decent matchup. But they will draw out of it if we don't draw if we don't continue drawing stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh okay. Shouldn't be tapping the elf. Let's play Acidic Slime. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh Alexa, uh Traxa does not know uh what Acidic Slime is. <laughs> Gonna have to teach Amazon the love of slime. I was checking the combo, and it said Seth was right. Needed perfect hand to pull up the shoal combo. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what happened. Ooh, Cranko combo. Spicy. Now let's see what we draw. Vivian. I'll play Vivian. Take up Vivian. Ugh. Um... Yeah, I guess we take Arbor Elf. Play Arbor Elf. Anironix! Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Hit our vote at down to 12. 
Man, if they have, like, Breach Titan, that would be sad. Opponent, untaps. Hey, what's up, Anironix? Is Mud going to be played soon? I'm kind of a huge fan. Mud is coming for Much Brew on Sunday. So it is coming. All right. <laughs> Three mana flame slash. Sure. Plays a land. Phone it. Pass it. We draw. Land. Well, take up Vivian. Take an Arbor Elf. Go to combat. Do we want to just Vivian again? One, two, three, four, five. Is there anything we could even hit? Not really. All right, attack, attack. Play Arbor Elf. Play a forest. Pass the turn. This is Titan mana. This is Titan mana. Yes, we're playing Mirror March 4 against odds tomorrow. Ooh, took it to the finals of a 32-player tournament? Let me, uh, let me see. Opponent, cracks. Down to eight. So, Cranko Combo. Oh, Cranko Combo for Commander. That's spicy. And Sly. Well, there's prime time. That is something we were worried about. We did kind of fizzled with this Vivian. Vivian double whiffed, which is not good. There's double Valakuts. Opponent passes. Oh. Oh, oh. Attack, attack, attack. Opponent, if they take it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, opponent's going to block. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12. All right. So I guess we take up Vivian. See what we hit. The slide deck looks sweet. Grab a forest. Play the forest. Go to combat. Attack with slime. Whoa. All right. Well, that does it. Good block. Huh. That was that was quite a block. Jeez. <laughs> These have been the worst Vivian activations. Our Vivian, we have hit lands and Arbor Elves for four straight Vivian activations. Valica. Huh. Well, that was, that was sure. Escape Shift. I mean, I guess we'll make sure they have enough mountains. They should. Huh. That block. Uh, we're two and two. Opponent. I mean, they should have enough mountains. They don't need that many with three Valakuts. Yup. All right. Well... Huh. I mean, I don't think we change anything. This is what we got. There's no... Yeah, this is it. It was close to working last time. Our Vivian activations were really pretty epically bad. So I think that's where things went, uh, went pretty wrong. We are playing some Mono Green Land Destruction. Uh, Vivian's in the re in the deck to to get Arbor Elf every turn apparently. 
<laughs> sphere for Ballista. I kind of like... I kind of like Trinisphere. I think the thing about Trinisphere in this deck, you gotta remember, is it combines with our land destruction, which is what makes it powerful. Like, just Trinisphere on its own is kind of okay, but Trinisphere combined with making our opponent not have lands is how we make our opponent not play magic. Oh, MTG Goldfish, that mud list. I added three Horizon Canopies to replace three forests, and it saved my butt a few times, as well as Jeff's butt on today's stream. That sounds like a that sounds like a good addition. I've been messing around with uh, the mud list a bit, and it's super sweet. Wow, this hand's way slow. It's uh it's super sweet, but it also seemed uh in my experience, it felt like it was very inconsistent at times. Arbor Elf, go. Opponent. Misty. And passes. Well, play Utopia Sprawl. On green. Play Elvish Mystic. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Yeah, we got the good white bordered forests, which are pretty perfect for this deck. Yeah, we can just if they hadn't had a fetch land, we could have destroyed land this turn, but we'll have to wait till next turn. Opponent stomping grounds tapped. Sure. So we would like a finisher or a Vivian or something. Opponent. Ooh, promo secure tribe elder. Yup. Well, we untap. Oh, oh, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. We're going to stifle him. All right. Blow up your land. Oh, we are going to stifle this secure tribe elder, and it is going to be awesome. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Here it comes. We're doing it. This is the dream. It took a lot of our league, but we're finally going to really get someone. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> No land for yo! Got him! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, the salt! Actually, our opponent didn't say anything, but it's gotta be salt inducing! Phone <laughs> uh, it. Foothills. Sure, cracks it. Yeah. We still kinda need a threat of some kind. Stopping grounds. Search for tomorrow suspended. Opponent passes. Forest. Well, blow up stomping grounds. Get a forest. Go to combat. Attack. The world's slowest clock. Pass the turn. Fast bond strip mine combo. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Vern Catacombs for our opponent. Passes. We draw. You don't. Hmm. Oh, the lands. The lands, the lands, the lands. And I'll put it on blue this time, because why not? Boy, if we could draw a primal command, we would all of a sudden be in business. That's the card we're missing here. Surge for tomorrow's coming down. Opponent. Getting their mana. So we've blown up two lands and stifled a secure tribe elder, but our opponent's still... Still in it. Gets a land. And boat it. Mountain. Come on, deck. Hmm. I mean, that is traditionally one of the problems with ramp decks is you can draw all ramp and, and no finishers, and that's kind of where we're at here. We're giving our opponent an infinite amount of time to reassemble. Now, oh, there's Primal Command. Well, tap, untap. Primal Command. Put Cinder Glade on top. Search for a creature. Take Eternal Witness. 
Eternal Witness. Get back Primal Command. Get in with Mystic. Play a forest, pass the turn. This might be enough. Cinder Lion, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscribers. Interglade for our opponent. What do they got? Search for tomorrow's. Gets a land. Okay, that's land. Opponent passing. Forest. Well, Primal Command. Cinderglade on top. Search for... Eternal Witness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Forest. Eternal Witness. Get back Primal Command. Primal Command. Put it on top. Search for a land. Take Eternal Witness. Get in for two. Opponents down to zero green mana. And that is that is what we were trying to do. Dixie for the 23rd month in a row. Opponent scoops it up. Whew, that's more like it. And this one's for the treasure chest. This one's for the treasure chest. We need this one for the treasure chest. Oh, maybe we should have got Ballista. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess Ballista, you are correct. That might have been, that might have been the way to go. Well... I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Hopefully do that again. I mean, putting lands on top of our opponent's deck has to count for something. Just for the fun of it. Ooh, let me see, Aquith. Turbo Emerkel. Hmm. Turbo Emerkel. Vessel of Volatility. Interesting. I have not seen Vessel of Volatility. I mean, I guess it is plus four mana. So how quickly can you turbo a Geo Surge? Wow. This deck is all about the quick emeralds. That is that is very interesting. Uh what is the advantage of playing this over normal Ponza? Uh, it's definitely sweeter. <laughs> it's definitely cheaper. As far as competition, uh, level of competition, um, no one expects Repudiate. That's another bonus. I don't know, I don't know if either deck is really top tier at the moment. Ponza at one point was top tier, but it's really fallen off. Um, uh, this hand... Ramp Eternal... Man, we really need to add fetch lands. We need to add fetch lands. We're going to do that after this game. Budget is probably probably the biggest one. Zimplify. Can we keep this? Ramp into Sad Eternal Witness into nothing. I think we got a mulligan. Ooh, all right. Well, well that's prime. Okay, okay. This will try. This could work. Uh, Jund for Magic Arena. Bonus cracks. Ooh, main deck cinder vines. I've I saw a deck on arena today playing main deck cinder vines, and it's an interesting idea. I also saw one of the vintage super league decks for tonight is is a Jun deck that's playing main deck cinder vines. Um, that deck looks sweet. I'm a little worried about the creature base being like so many one and two ofs, but there's a lot of powerful cards in it. Unless the creatures are just mostly like what you have in your collection, then it makes sense. Isn't this more expensive? Uh, I don't think it's more expensive than normal Ponza. Probably in large part because of the mana base being all forests. Well, if you ever meet me at a tournament, you can, uh, you can touch, you can touch the bad bud, I guess, if that, uh, is something that interests you. How do you pick user submitted decks? It is Oh! Oh, the blowout of the year. The blowout of the year. 
Oh, we're going to win this. Good luck searching for tomorrow, opponent. <laughs> oh, the dream. They kept one land double search. And we have turn two Trisphere, and our opponent is going to cry themselves to sleep. I'm pretty sure this works the way I'm I'm expecting. Do you have three mana, opponent? Exile can be played, but it can't really. Yes! Oh, the green! Opponent finds a land. Okay. Um. No attacks. Run out a Ballista. We do want one more land. Wow, Trinisphere is insane here. Search for tomorrow's. Would you like to cast it, opponent? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> hey, welcome, uh, Redowak. Glad to have you. Thank you. Oh, come on, land. Whew. Plow Under is insanely brutal if we had one more mana. This is a good Trinisphere. Oh, we were one land away. I play a couple of Cinder Vines in best of one. And I'll go attacking. Counter on Ballista. I saw people playing in best of three as well, which was surprising. But yeah, it makes sense. Cinder Vines is actually pretty good in the standard meta. Hey, what's up, Catman Dave? Vote it. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, all right. I guess that works. Done? Are we done? Are we done, opponent? Oh, boy. That that was the greatest Trinisphere. <laughs> I still can't get over how good that was. <laughs> oh, done. Done. And we finished with a three and two. So the kids are technically eating. Let's let's crack open this treasure chest. Then we're gonna make those upgrades, those slight upgrades we were talking about, and play it through play it through a couple more matches while we're going. Cause I wanna see what happens if you add the fetch lands. Uh, I think it would be good. Whoa, that was sweet. So the kids are eating a single chest. A chest has been opened. The kids are eating a little snack. Yeah, it's been a while since we've cracked a chest. Maybe this is our complete set. Maybe it's happening. Maybe it's finally happening. Here we go. Here we go. We get. Eh, Urza's Ruinous Blast. They kind of uh, made the chest better uh, by adding all these play points so they're way better to open but also uh also less exciting to open i think but uh ursa's ruinous blast one of my pet cards all right let's let's uh, do so what were these upgrades i want to try a couple matches with the upgrades before we end for tonight uh so let's misty i hope i have misty's in my collection i do not uh all right so we need Misty Rainforest. I I can I can grab them super super quick. It doesn't take long. So Misty's. Um. Maybe a couple. Maybe we go like six fetch lands. A couple of breeding pools. Was there anything else that we... Was there something else that we were trying to add? I can't remember. Some sort of card draw would be nice, but I don't know what... I don't know what it'll be. Um... Hang on. Ordering... Ordering the Misty is super quick. Uh... Maybe we just run it like that. The main reason I really want to... Uh, the main reason I really want the fetch lands is we had a lot of eternal witnesses that couldn't get anything back. Harmonize, maybe harmonize is just better than like, how are we feeling about Vivian? Like, do you think Vivian is even worth it? Should we just, Oh, crosses. Oh, crosses. Crosses is spicy. Oh, all right. Now I got to order that too. I, I'm gonna we're gonna try the crosses just one just one crosses that we can get with that we can get with primal command is there anything else I'm gonna have like a million random orders going for these cards 
Silent Arbiter. Crisis. Crisis. <laughs> Crisis. Yeah, Crisis. Does seem does seem pretty good. Crisis. Oh, Noble Hierarchs. Oh my goodness. Card Hoarder's going to hate me. I should have got these all in one order before. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Noble Hierarchs seems better. All right, order number one. I expect this should be the Misties. Um, hang on. So order one is in. Is there anything else before I order the normal the noble hierarchs? Because <laughs> I don't want I want to minimize the number of orders I have if I can help it. Uh, and then we'll try this new and updated build. All right, order two. Well, normally we don't actually build decks on stream like this, but. This is an exception, because this deck's sweet. All right, there's our crazes. <laughs> cray cray. But then I can't say craw craw. I'm going to keep calling it crosses. Because I like crying. All right, ordering the noble hierarchs, and then we can run it. Hey, what's up, Wam Wajambi? Blue green Nissa. Tireless tracker does seem like it could be okay, either in the main deck or the sideboard. Do I have... I have a couple trackers. The other question is, what are we going to cut for these things? That's the other problem. Krasis getting picked up by... Oh, man. I just... I want a Krasis. Krasis being picked up by Suru actually sounds pretty awesome. Figure out what to cut. Figure out what to cut. I'm going to get the Noble Hierarchs, and then I think we're just going to run it like this. We're going to upgrade Noble Hierarchs from the other Mana Dorks. Figure out what we cut to bring in uh, Cray Cray, and then and then we're going to run it. Yeah, I guess we can cut a Vivian. I don't really want to cut Land Destruction. We need all forests, uh, essentially all forests, for Arbor Elf, so I don't think we want to run non-forest dual lands yeah we could cut one vivian i guess one vivian for the crisis noble won't let you use utopia properly wait what do you mean why will noble not let us use why will it not let us use it properly In case one gets got. Eh, I guess maybe we can run just one, you're right. One is probably one is probably fine. Uh where's our where's my white border? Oh, there it is. Alright. So one breeding pool, a few fetch lands, crazes, and then noble. Noble Hierarch, and then we can run some run some matches, see what happens. I think Hierarch's got to be better, right? I don't think we want one island. I don't really... We don't have that much blue. I guess we could also, like, bring the gate in the sideboard. That might be going too far. Our sideboard felt fine. What's the best blue sideboard card? Some sort of counter spell? The Sampini guy lets us pick up our Eternal Witness... It's not great on its own, but it does really cool things with some loops. Thrag Tusk in 75. Eh, I do, I do like Thrag Daddy, Swag Tusk. Uh, we can go down one option at Bayloth for one Thrag Tusk. That's fine. All right, let's let's run it. Let's run it. Oh yeah, Tracker. Um, Tracker for a Ballista. All right, Let, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. We didn't do bad in our first league. 
And now we have some even more spice. The deck just keeps getting spicier, and the deck is super fun. Crosses was a great idea. Whoever said crosses, I am very happy about crosses. Yeah, I think we're I think we're fine. We probably could upgrade the sideboard, but I just want to play some more games with the deck. I'd rather get in more games than spend too long. Than spend uh, too long trying to update it. Avoid fate's interesting. We're on the play. Ooh. Okay. I mostly want to stifle a fetch land. This hand's kind of medium, but stifle your fetch land seems like it could be good. And if we draw into anything, I guess we can actually copy stuff with replicate now too, which is sort of something. Yeah, Nissa seems like that seems like a good suggestion. That could be a good addition to the deck. I guess we're back to zero zero record wise. Let's see what our opponent's up to. This deck is super fun, and the original build at least is not all that expensive. Opponent, Bobble Peaks. Yeah. All right. Thought sees central. Eh, we'll see how the Death Shadow matchup goes. Yeah, we did three and two at first, and now we made a couple of changes and are are running it back for some more matchups. There's the Thought sees. Ugh. We couldn't stifle. Too slow. Too slow with the stifle. What's my favorite mana dork? Um. Hmm. Probably Arbor Elf. I think Arbor Elf is the one that I I have played the most and had the most success with. What mythology culture would you like to see in a future set? Uh, like there's a, if there was a Greco Roman box. Um, I would like to see maybe like Norse would be cool. Vikings with big beards. I just want more more big bearded magic characters. So. Unless, I mean, there's probably a better culture for beards and Vikings even, but something with beards. Where do you think we're going for the fall set? That is a really interesting question, and I don't know the answer. They said it was a new plane, but that it was something people have been asking for for like a decade or something, which is, oh, Swift Spear. Opponent. Getting in. Maybe this isn't Death Shadow. Is this Death Shadow with Swift Spear? Opponent passes. Well. Play a forest. Get in with Arbor Elf. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. <laughs> Opponent's not going to play with the Stifle. I guess we're still getting value from our opponent just not playing into it. What do you all think? Like, what could it be? It's not Kamigawa because because they said it's uh, it's a new plane. Mono red group slug EDH. Opponent down to eleven. Group slug is is a cool archetype in EDH. Opponent hits us. Also, they announced... We didn't talk about their announcements today. They announced... Ugh, Death Shadow. All right, that's scary. They announced some really big... Really big improvements to uh, WPN stuff, which is super awesome. Vivian. Oh, Vivian. Always a disappointment. <laughs> uh, what do we do here? Other than just probably die huh this hand has been very slow the group slug deck looks fun uh, what do we do so uh, they're basically there used to be all these store levels they're getting rid of that and simplifying it they're also making it easier for uh more specialized for individual stores which i'm hopeful will help especially uh, i'm hopeful that it, it's gonna be lead to them being a little more relaxed with some of the restrictions we've seen where like 
Uh, there's issues where, especially in like Europe, where there's not as much space, where game stores lose their status because of uh, stuff that we'd never even have to deal with here in the wide open spaces of, of the United States, where there's so much space. Um, they're also changing promos and making these promo packs, which are going to be basically like... I guess we just Vivian. I don't know what else we do here. We can't just keep leaving up this stifle. The stifle's not going to... <laughs> not going to win us this game. So I guess we just Vivian, tick up, and see what happens. You know it's going to be an Arbor Elf. It's always an Arbor Elf. Or it's going to get four spiked. Eh, opponent does not care about Vivian. All right, tick it up. Um... And we'll take Eternal Witness. At least that's a card we can cast. Pass the turn. Well, are we dead, Death Shadow? Are we dead? Yeah, they're going to be very close to... Very close to Treasure Chests, but in, in real life. And they're going to give those out for, like, FNMs and other events. Uh, Andrew Store can hand them out however they want to. Hey, what's up, Nummel? How are you tonight? Opponent, Cracks. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we were actually dead here. Eight, nine. Battle Rage? Okay, Thought Seize, sure. Down to three. Oh, eh, all right. Get the thought seize peak before you do it. Well, that didn't go well. Bring in Thrag Tusk. Bring in Bayloths. Bring in, I guess, Ratchet Bombs. Apparently, they're playing all one mana stuff. <sighs> go down. What do we cut? Ballista doesn't seem great. Acidic Slime seems kind of meh. Trinosphere actually seems really good. Maybe a Repudiate, Replicate, a Plow Wonder, and a Vivian? Hmm. Eh, let's keep the Plow Wonder. Plow Wonder is sweet. I guess Ooze seems like it could be good, too. Is RNA... Is RNA Kaya good sideboard tech against Death Shadow? Uh, I mean, I think it's reasonable. It's It can be kind of slow. Uh, and it can get countered. So I don't think it's, like, game ending or anything. But if I had it in my sideboard, I would bring it in. I think uh, in most in most decks, I would probably end up bringing it in. Skews is very good versus Shadow. Well, maybe we should bring in... Yeah, all right, we got one copy. We're on the play. Well, Thoughtseize is a hassle, but we have we have turn two Trinosphere if we don't get Thoughtseize. If we do get Thoughtseize, then we're sad. But Trinosphere is really good against these Mana Light decks. Are you aware that the creator calls this deck Mono Green Control? Uh, I am not. I'm not even uh, even sure who the creator is. You, Tobias Brawl, on... I mean, I know, uh... I know the name of the person that played it on Magic Online recently. But I think this is a updated version of a deck that's been floating around a while. So I don't know the the original creator. A little cheeky for the 25th month in a row. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Oh, oh I wanted this Trinosphere so desperately. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. I think Trinosphere would have just been very close to winning us the game. Yeah, we we played a league with it, went three and two, and we just updated it on stream and wanted to play a couple more games. So this is a this is a uh, a updated stream build. They do take our Trinosphere. Well, play Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth, get a forest. Play Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. This does potentially get us to Primal Command next turn, which isn't isn't the worst. 
Uh, LOL, the f uh, the Mad Flip. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop cheer for our new subscriber, Swift Spear. Interesting. Uh, the primer is uh, cool. I had not... If I had, uh, if I have seen it, it was a long time ago. Definitely sweet. Opponent gets in. Mono Green Control makes sense as a name. I can see that being a a legitimate name for the deck. Da uh, Dabo Gimp, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Well, I guess the time has come. Play Misty. Hmm. Actually, do we Primal Command? They get to crack their fetch. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It means we don't get to leave up our Stifle, but... Opponent. Hmm. Alright. New plan. <laughs> we could just Stifle... Is that better than primal commanding? That's a that is a tough one. Eh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let it go. We're going to primal command. Opponent cracks a fetch, gets a land. Primal Command can also make our opponent gain life. Which can be relevant against Death Shadow. <laughs> can you get blitzed and sing Country Roads for me? Uh, Probably not tonight. <laughs> I'm not really much of a drinker, honestly. Put on creature, put on top of his only library, search for a creature. All right, so land on top, search for a creature. What is the creature we search for though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, <laughs> crosses seems great if nothing goes wrong. Yeah, we've been having a ton of fun tonight. Yeah, I guess Eternal Witness makes the most sense. Take Eternal Witness. Misty, crack it. Grab a... Uh, do we gotta get our breeding pool? Alright, take breeding pool. Untapped. There's probably a way we could have avoided having to do that. Play the Arbor Elf, pass the turn. And see what happens. Opponent untaps. Blood Crypt. Untap, down to 10. Hopefully no more Thought Seizes. Love the Biomancer Banton deck you did not long ago. Ooh, um, did I do, maybe we streamed one. That might be a, a Lee Andrazi deck that you're thinking of. I think we streamed one, but I think Ali had one that he was playing a lot. I want to play modern, but only have around $500. I want to play slower, more controllish game plan. Does Salty Reclamation on a semi-budget work? Uh, I think you could get away with cutting, <sighs> hmm, maybe. Uh, I'm going to have to look at the list. I was going to say you could get away with cutting some of the lands, but casting Cryptic might be a challenge. So I need, I'm going to have to actually look at the Reclamation list and see. My guess is maybe. Saltai Reclamation Teachings, it's $790. Opponent dismembers, kills an Arbor Elf. Okay. Combat. Attacks. Yep. Down to 12. 
The Shadow. We draw. Forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. That's a seven, seven. What do we do about this? Play Eternal Witness. Get back. Ugh. Man, I wish we could Primal Command. Primal Command make our opponent gain life would kill the Death Shadow. Maybe we just gotta take Trinisphere? But then we're stuck hoping we draw something. Alright, take Trinisphere. Untap. Play Trinisphere. Pass the turn. Can we beat a Death Shadow? Ugh. Hopefully our opponent does not have a land. Oh, this is going to be close. Opponent, combat. Swings. We take it. If we draw land, opponent passes. Hmm. Well, now we get tricky. So replicate eternal witness. <laughs> replicate do it work. Get back primal command. Tap on tap. Acid Moss, get rid of the Black Source. So opponent can't cast anything. I, get, I think we might be getting there. I think we might. Because we can chump Death Shadow. Untap, make our opponent gain seven. And tutor up another Eternal Witness and kill the Death Shadow. Yeah, we have exactly... I mean, I guess the problem is they could, like, have a Street Wraith or something. But our opponent can't cast anything regardless, which is good. Yeah, Trinisphere has been super impressive tonight. Super impressive all around. Oh, man, the Reddit picture of me was so good. It's now my profile pic on Twitter. That was amazing. I should find the person's name who did it and give them a shout out because it was super, 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 super cool. Uh, here it is. I'm going to actually just pull it up here because it's so cool. Torpor Dust on Twitter. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you in a minute after this attack. Pwn it. Gets in. A block dash shadow. Hmm. Yeah, let's just block Death Shadow. Go to three. Opponent passes. Forest. Tap, untap. Tap. Primal Command. Target player gains seven. Search for a creature. No street race. No street race. Huh! Okay. And now we can take Stampeding Suru. Play a forest. Get rid of the Death Shadow. Play Suru. And I think that should do it. Combat. 
attack, hit our opponent. And our opponent can't cast anything, and we got it locked up, and whoo, that was close. That was close, but we got there. Opponent scoops it up. I mean, because if we get Suru, we pick up a Turtle Witness, and we get to Primal Command again for something else. Uh, here is, here's a picture. Oh, so good. I was so, it looks so sweet. Super happy with it. I think that's mm, kind of like that. They even got the hat. So super cool. Thank you uh, so much to the artist. Super sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, Eternal Witness is something. Man, that was sweet. We just won a modern game with Repudiate Replicate, copying a turtle witness. <laughs> uh, let's go down the ballista. Run it like that. All right, opponent's on the play. Let's see what... Uh, hmm. Okay. On the draw, we keep this, I think. We have two good two drops. If we get up to four mana, life is great. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Yeah, I mean, I guess Tritosphere was a part of it. Do I have that hoodie? Uh, there was a blue hoodie I wore. I haven't worn it as much lately, but I do have a blue hoodie. So, I, And the hat, I have a gray hat, although I wear different color hats sometimes. I moved away from the, the hats a little bit recently. It's getting, it's like spring now. The clock's changed. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. The weather's not bad. Yeah, no sponsor for uh for this stream this fine, fine evening. Opponent, Bloodstained Mire. And passes. Well, Forest, you. We do want to draw some lands to go with this expensive hand. Opponent, Grex. It's an overgrown tomb. Untapped. Opponent... Yeah, Thanos was here earlier. Thanos is the unofficial sponsor of every stream. He's built up so many donations. The sponsorship runs forever at this point. Bonant. Blood Crypt. Untap. Down to 14. Trying to get to that Death Shadow range. All right, there's a little goif. Opponent passes. Come on, land. Well, Misty Rainforest. Crack Misty Rainforest. Get a forest. Play Ratchet Bob. Pass the turn. Oh, one land. This is the other upside of fetch lands. Is now Eternal Witness can get us back a Misty, which is actually really helpful here. What booster box would you buy with a 15% off eBay coupon? Uh, is Can you get pre-orders for anything uh, that's coming? Like War of the Spark? I haven't actually checked to see if, if pre-orders are up yet. But I might go... I might go that direction. War of the Spark, or if they're up, Modern Horizons seems like a really interesting one. If you got to buy something that's current and not pre-order, I would probably buy, assuming standard legal. I'll also, like, Ultimate Masters uh, is, is still good, especially if you can get a box topper. That's another good option. Collective Brutality. Discards become amends. All right. Well, you can take something we can't cast anyway. Out of standard sets, I might just go Guilds of Ravnica, I guess. Dig up. Bone it. Oh, we love land. Gets in. Hits us. 14. Untap. Slime. Hmm. Yikes. Well, missing these land drops is going to be brutal. Scavenge goose go. 75 a box is... Yeah, that's about as cheap as it gets, I think. Noyan Dartron. That is definitely the craziest Tron deck I've seen. That's for sure. Opponent, Sacred Foundry. 
Combat. Attacks. If we crack it now, they can play a Death Shadow. But we save three? Well, actually, we don't. We save two. All right, let's take it. Opponent. Become immense. Eh, all right. Well, we got mana screwed. Opponent drew their combos. And there we go. Did you ever come across the Sidisi deck I sent you in email? Uh, we haven't done viewer submitted decks um, yet. It's coming up next week, I believe. But you should definitely send it to me again. Because if it was a while ago... I probably do not have it saved anywhere. So you should definitely set it again uh, for Viewer Submitted Week. I love me some Restore Balance. That's for sure. Uh, I have heard of Streetlight Manifesto. But I have never heard... I don't think I've heard Streetlight Manifesto. Uh, Alright. Forest and Noble Hierarch. This hand looks pretty good. Seems reasonable-ish. I will have to uh, I will have to check them out. Oh, uh, we just lost. They had become a men's team or battle rage. Wombo combo. Oh, we're playing We're playing our friend again. I think the new WPN announcement is pretty positive for basically everyone. I think it seems good for players with uh with the new promos. It Ooh, windswept teeth. This is a person we finished our last league against. I wonder if they're still on scape shift. Looks like the answer is yes. Stomping grounds. Oh, come on. Give us that Trinisphere. Give us old Trini. Forest. Utopia Sprawl. <laughs> if we wreck this guy with Trinisphere again. <laughs> oh, it would be so good. Get a forest. Get get him a noble hierarch. Uh, they announced some changes to the Wizards Play Network stuff today, which seem like all positive news. Uh, most of it doesn't really directly impact players. It's more behind the scenes stuff, local game store stuff that all seemed good to me, as far as I could tell. Well, all right, opponent. I really hate to do this to you, but. Boy, this is brutal. And now they're going to have to shuffle away their lands with this search for tomorrow. Which I think just turns us into double stone rain, essentially. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Boy, I feel bad for, for Magic Miguel, uh, Miguel because... This is the second time we've played, and the second time we have just had ridiculous stuff for for this match. Zombies and company. Um, zombies and company looks. Hmm. Um, I think that looks fairly solid. I might look at Crypt Breaker. I think Crypt Breaker is. One of the best zombies uh, in modern. 
And opponent scoops it up. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. Got him good. Well, this is a matchup where we don't get many changes. I think we just go up Tireless Tracker, go down Walking Ballista, run it like that. Oh, our poor opponent. No, this is the opponent we played in our very last round that was playing on Scapeshift that we beat in round five uh, of our last league where we where we got them with <laughs> Trinisphere when they had two Search for Tomorrow suspended and I couldn't cast any of them. Oh, that was the best part of the whole stream, I think. Yeah, we just double Stone Rain, opponent, done. Done, done, done. Uh, how do you feel about people getting mad at cards like Chalice and Trinisphere causing non-games? Uh, do people get mad about that? <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I'm, a, I'm on the other side. I, uh, I enjoy causing the non-games. I... So my, my feelings on that are this. I understand people... Yeah, we can't keep this. I understand people feeling that way, and I don't think they're wrong to feel that way. Like... You enjoy you enjoy what you enjoy, and if you don't enjoy that, which makes sense, uh, that's fine. But I think that part of what makes Magic great is there's so many different play styles and decks available. So I would hate to see those decks not exist in formats like Modern and Legacy. Do I do I think that that play style uh, of lock you out of the game so you can't play Magic should be a a part of standard or a, signif a significant part of standard no i don't think that that's that is good uh so if people want a place where that doesn't happen that's what standard's for so that's basically my take on it could it be chandelier it could be chandelier that definitely seems possible Costa Guard, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you. Land, please, for your subscription big scoops here for our new subscriber um yeah, let's just Eternal Witness. Get back our land. This is slow-ish. Especially with this search coming down. Uh, we'll see. We're working towards a Primal Command, but I'm not sure it's gonna be gonna be fast enough here. What about for Commander? My feelings on Commander are very different than other formats. Uh, my feelings on Commander are... That your primary goal isn't to win, it's to make sure everyone has a good time. I mean, winning is part of it, and there's nothing wrong with trying to win. You should try to win uh, most of the time. But I feel like the number one goal of... Yeah, we're in some serious trouble here. The number one goal of Commander is for everyone to have a enjoyable game of Magic. So I feel like if you are playing in a way that doesn't allow people to play... I think it's okay once in a while, but if that's your primary play style, I expect your playgroup will get tired of it and try to kill you first, and rightly so. That's probably what I would do if I was in your playgroup in Commander. Gonna update to Fairy Pool with the new Lavinia. Yeah, that's something we probably should do. Primeval Titan. Eh, alright. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll, we'll throw back the early scoop to our opponent. Alright, run it back. <laughs> Isn't the goal of EDH the same as every other format? Draw a lot of cards and be frustrated. How many are the types you don't need? Uh, that's, yeah, that's how I do it. Who is my favorite commander? Ugh. I'm the wrong person to ask that. I have only recently started building commander decks that care about my commander. Aww. <sighs> One land. Oh, dear. No lands. Uh, this is taking a, a turn for the worse. The magic gods. Maybe we use up all of our luck in our first league in that 3 2. What is the best fun commander deck? I feel like I'm constantly playing too good of commanders. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Well. Yikes. The magic gods have frowned upon us. Forest Goo. Um. What is the most fun commander? So I, what I was saying earlier <laughs> is I've only recently started to build commander decks that actually 
care about the commander at all. I used to just build decks and then pick something as my commander, but I think I've improved a little bit lately with actually building decks that care about my commander. I think one that I was, have been very impressed with lately is Zancha from Commander 2018. It's actually coming uh, in a, a soon-to-be-released Commander Clash episode, and Zancha was a lot sweeter than I would have imagined. It was actually super, super sweet. Hmm. All right. Well... We've had some mana trouble this league, unfortunately. Bonnet. What's your essential five card pack in Commander? Um, so... Probably Soul Ring, although I don't play Soul Ring, so I'm not going to say Soul Ring. Uh, Solemn? What else? Uh, I've... I've come to believe Thespian Stage in Vesuva. Yeah, we're just... Well, we're the ones not playing Magic this game. Thank you, Magic Gods. Um, greed. <laughs> yeah, Greed is probably on there. Anything that draws cards. What, like, what are cards that I always play? Hmm. Summoner's Pack, Titan. Yeah, all right. No lands, no lands, and we've taken us a bad run. We're one and two in both of our games. Uh, we're close to having it be a much better record, but yeah, Strip Mine, definitely. Blood Moon, no. I never play Blood Moon in Commander, or at least very rarely. That's one of those cards that goes against the... That goes against the everyone has fun, uh, for me, for the most part. It's not that I would never play a Blood Moon deck, but... I would need a really good specific reason. I wouldn't just be like, oh, I'm playing a red deck with all mountains, so I'm going to play Blood Moon to get people. I would do that in Modern all the time, but I would do that in Commander. I've recently started playing the some of these big black exile enchantments. Well. Huh. Okay. These stifle... Man. Oh, well, let's see if this is fast enough. I am a, ooh, okay. Odds improving. That's Utopia's Brawl. I mean, we have double stifle. This is not a good stifle matchup. If we find like a slime though, we can just start copying it and that would be sweet. I'm not, if they have natural Tron, it might, ugh come down before we can acid moss here we actually won a game our first game of this league by replicating the original deck in our first league didn't have blue mana well i guess outside of utopia sprawl on blue but it essentially didn't have blue mana so we never really did that this deck we have uh added more blue mana to make it more possible among other other changes so we did in round one Glissa Eggs. Yeah, Hedonist Trove is one of them. There's also another one that's similar. I always forget the name. And Oh, it's Eldrazi Tron. Okay. <laughs> well, that does lock out some of our stuff. Opponent passes. Um, Misty Rainforest... Ugh. Huh. Trinisphere. Then they thought not see us. I don't really want... Okay, we're just going to pass for now. We're going to wait. Leave up this stifle. We really want this land destruction to the point where we would happily stifle a thought not trigger if we had to. Ballista X1. Ooh. Okay. Well, Crack Misty, things are taking a turn for the better. Get a breeding pool. Tapped. Untap. Oh, Vivian too. Well, this might be a game where Vivian shines. Blow up the temple. Grab a forest. Pass the turn. 
Oh, if we can find acidic slime, we go off. With these two repudiate replicates, pass the turn. Uh, you mentioned you went, you mentioned in Bant Flash how sweet it would be to play Emrakul. I've got a spicy addition for you, Alchemist Refuge. Ooh, Alchemist Refuge actually seems like it could be super sweet in that deck. That's a really good idea. I might have to try that. Opponent passes. Misty. All right. Well, Vivian. Take it up. Go digging. For a creature. Uh, well, Eternal Witness isn't bad. Play Misty. Pass the turn. Eternal Witness, and we have copying abilities. Pwn it. What do they find? Oh, we might be pulling away. Pulling away, pulling away. Whoa! Opponent's done! They cannot handle it. They just scoop it up. That was pretty good against Eldrazi Tron. Uh, so, no, it is not too late to submit viewer com submitted Commander Clash decks. The episode that goes up on Friday will actually have a call for them in the article saying, uh, if you want your deck considered, uh, leave it in the comments or whatever. You can definitely email them to me at any time as well. That is... That is super acceptable and fine. But there will be an official call for them going out uh, with this week's episode. So it is not too late at all. If anything, it's technically slightly early. Uh, Saffron Olive at mtggoldfish.com. Ephro Thras and Grasp of Darkness. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I don't think Trinosphere is very good in this matchup, honestly. Maybe we keep the Ballistas, since we're going down Trinospheres. Bring in Tracker. Bring in Swag Dusk. Run it like that. Finally brought in uh, to Modern. How do you feel about Green Black Lantern in the current meta? Uh, so Lantern... Hmm. I think we're going to keep this. It's a little sketchy. We're going to keep it. We got an Arbor Elf. Eternal Winners can get back a land. Opponent has Ghost Quarter. Eh, all right. Expedition map. Um, so Lantern has mostly transformed into non-Lantern prison decks. So Lantern itself... <sighs> I haven't played it. But I do know that everyone who has been playing that deck, or similar decks, has basically switched over to playing non-Lantern versions of the deck. Ooh, let me see, Tracy Hicks. Bant. Aldrazi Displacer Sweet. Opponent, Warping Whales. Come on, land. Land, land, land. Alright, that is a land. Now play Arbor Elf. Windswept Teeth. Pass the turn. We're piecing it together slowly. Opponent, untaps. Cracking the map. Okay. Man, this Plowunder could be great. No, the band deck looks sweet, Tracy. I I like it. The collected, uh, the cryptic commands seem good. Ooh, there's a map. Opponent's actually going to assemble Tron. Ew, that's not great. Uh, take our breeding pool. Ugh, Tron is going to be assembled, and we might be in a heap of trouble. Well, tap, untap. Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness, get back Windswept Teeth. Windswept Teeth, crack it, grab a forest, play Noble High Arc. Oh, so they get one turn with five mana before we can plow under to slow them down? That's still not good. If they have something like Walking Blizzda, that's still probably enough to just beat us. Power Plant, Tron. That's unfortunate. Thought not seer. Okay. Well. There goes something good. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Takes the plow under. Seth, are you interested in an invite to Mono Green uh, Control Discord made by Divruli who uh, brewed the deck? Ooh, now what do we do? 
We have five mana. Uh, yeah, sure. Send me an invite. I would love. I would love an invite. Huh. Yes, there is VSL tonight. I'm not on it. Uh, I'm done. But I am. Uh, I am on it. Yeah, we're playing some modern tonight. Uh, we can't command the tower away. I guess that slows our opponent down theoretically. We can also just leave them with Tron. Yeah, I guess we got to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, put you off Tron for now. Hopefully they... This deck isn't that good at finding Tron. Usually Eldrazi Tron is not, at least. True Flight, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Oh, we time-walked ourselves. We time-walked ourselves. Dizzy Turtle, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. I thought they were missing land drops. Do they really just top deck tower? Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Opponent, combat. Gets it. Wow, does not get in. I'll play a land. Tap on tap. Vivian Reed. Take it up. Pendlehaven. Pass the turn. Boy. That Tron play. Oh, that was brutal. That was so bad. Pout it. Yeah, maybe we should have just left him on Tron. VSL was super fun. I very much enjoyed it. Pwn it, Eldrazi Temple. That is a lot of Eldrazi mana. Well, here it comes. That's an all is dust. There goes our board. Wow. Oh, I still can't believe that they drew back into that tower. That feels exceedingly unlikely. Opponent gets in. Down to 13. Ratchet Bomb. Passes. A play a land. Blow up tower. about it. Alright. Get a forest. Pass the turn. I got to start playing this again. Ooh, Mono Redtron. Yeah, Mono Redtron is definitely a fun one. Aren't you supposed to blow up non-Tower Tron pieces? Uh... Jeez! Whenever we get them put off Tron, they just immediately draw back into it, which is a little annoying. We didn't put the tower on top of the deck. We shuffled tower into their deck. Seagate Wreckage. Opponent. Gets in with Thought Not Seer. Yeah. Down to nine. And thanks. Bonet passes. Well, let's just thrag tusk. Put up some defense. Pass the dirt. What's up with Golden Mane? Hmm. Yeah, opponents have done a pretty impressive job of... Wow. Dis... <laughs> okay. Dismember. Ratchet... Ratchet Bomb, sure. 
untap straws. Plays a Tron land. Opponent. Chalice on one. They want to start drawing with the Seagate Wreckage that we do need to get rid of. Opponent gets in with Thought Not Seer. Hits us. Down to ten. Opponent passes. We draw Windswept Teeth. Well, play Windswept Teeth. Tutor up. Ugh. Eternal Witness. Get back Eternal Witness. Play Eternal Witness. Get back Primal Command. Pass the turn. So opponent gets to draw an extra card. Hopefully it's not too good. Yep. Our deck tends to fizzle. So if we just get Acid Moss and kill Seagate Wreckage, there's a chance that we just never do anything the rest of the game. Opponent. Six mana. Eh, big old Ballista. Sure. Kills Eternal Witness. Boy. Huh. Opponents run pretty good on this one. Huh. Uh, that is weird, Envelin. Uh, I have no idea. I will have to try to look into it uh, later. You can send me an email if you want, if you can't keep track of me, or send me a message on on there. Yeah, I think we're done. Our opponent has... It really ran pretty well this match, or this game. Get a forest. So primal command. Gain seven life, search for a creature. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. What do we take? I guess we just take Eternal Witness. Play Walking Ballista. I mean, I guess we're still we're still relatively in it. Ballista, kill Ballista. Yep. Opponent hits us. Pass the turn. If our opponent whips for a turn. We can start blowing stuff up with slime? We'll see. They're drawing two cards a turn, and they have some really good draws. Expedition map gets countered. So we finally get to get rid of the Seagate Wreckage. Drawing a land to go with it would be excellent. Opponent. I mean, we can always get Hornet Queen later. Opponent draws an extra card. Oh, this has been a crazy, ma uh, crazy game. Gets it. Hits us. Down to seven. And we draw land. So step one, acidic slime. Blow up Seagate Wreckage. Play Misty. Crack Misty. Get a forest. Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness. Get back Primal Command. We're grinding. We are grinding. Pass the turn. See what our opponent's got. Phone it. Untaps. Card advantage engine gone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Phone it. Five mana. Reality Smasher. Yep. Combat. Attacks. Well. Blockwood Slime. Drop to three. Opponent passes. Primal Command. Gain seven life. Search for a creature. 
We will take one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we take, huh? What do we take? This is a tough one. It might be cross this time. The other option is just eternal witness and do it again. Yeah, the ghost quarter could ruin the crosses plan. That's true. Eh, let's just take Eternal Witness. Play Eternal Witness. I mean, this will get us there eventually. Get back Primal Command. We're gaining big chunks of life. And our opponent's no longer drawing two cards each turn. Pass the turn. Yeah, maybe maybe we gotta play a basic island. Having uh, After having a lot of homework, I'm done. I get to watch the stream. Also, if you had to make your deck as small as possible, how small would it be? Hmm. I'm sort of confused by the question. Opponent. What did they draw? Because you have to have 60 cards. Matter reshaper. Sure. Opponent. Combat. Passes. Misty. Well, Primal Command. Gain 7. Search for a creature. And it might just be time for our... Actually, you know what? Let's just take Tracker. Tracker seems good. Take Tracker. Play Tracker. Misty Rainforest. Get a clue. Crack Misty Rainforest. Get a forest. Get a clue. Pass the turn. And I think we're just grinding through Eldrazi. Oh, so if you do any number of cards, oh, um, huh. I would have to think about that. I don't have a, all right, opponent exiles the graveyard. That's fine. Untaps. Something, uh, something like Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide, Blood Moon, Chandra, <laughs> uh, Mountain, maybe. Opponent. Wow, they drew another Ballista. Opponent. Combat. Gets in, gets in. Um, alright. I guess we take it. Down to nine. Hits Tracker. Hits Tracker. Ugh. Siru. Well, crack a clue. Play Utopia Sprawl. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a chalice. That was bad. Play Stampeding Siru. Ugh, are we going to end up losing this? I think this is going to be our, our last game of our stream, by the way. Because VSL is starting, and I don't like streaming against VSL. So I think we're going to, uh... I think I'm going to... We're going to uh, call it after this game. Pwn it. Wow, smash her off the top! Combat. Pwn it. All out attack. Well, double block Thought Not Seer, block Smasher. Wow. 
Well, I guess it's stifle time. <laughs> stifle the thought not trigger. Or the ballista trigger. Kill some stuff. Draw a card. Thank you, Thought Not Seer. This has been a ridiculous game. Acidic Slime. Untap. Utopia Sprawl. Well, stack a clue. Draw a... Repudiate Replicate. Play Acidic Slime. Blow up Urza's power plant. Pass the turn. There are draws that kill us. Sublake, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Six mana. Endbringer. That's not good. Yeah, I think this does it. Opponent passes. Ballista. One, two. We have ten mana? No. Nine mana. Not enough. Hmm. Oh, so close. But now it's going to kill us. Digivampire and Cosmona and Sublink. Welcome y'all to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. I mean, we can replicate the slime, but we're still going to get got by Endbringer. That's the big problem. Yeah, so we replicate the slime. We blow up a land. Play Walking Ballista. Pass the turn. This Endbringer is, is the problem, though. Opponent untaps. Eldrazi Temple. Gonna draw a card. Yeah, Endbringer's pretty busted. Opponent. Combat. Passes. Untaps. Well. Counter on Walking Ballista. Counter on Walking Ballista. Go to combat. No attacks. Pass the turn. This isn't really a Tron deck. Eldrazi Tron isn't really Tron. I mean, it plays Tron lands, but... Kill and bringer. Well, opponent got to draw two cards off of it. Yep. Opponent, extra cards. Untaps. This has been a really long match. Opponent. Another Endbringer. Well, that's never-ending fun. Well, play Hornet Queen. Make some bees. Go to combat. Attack. Now we gotta try to close out the game. Hornet Queen's good. Is it enough? Eh, not super hopeful. Opponent gets a trigger. Hits a Thought Not Seer. 
The only good news is our opponent is somewhat pinched on mana. Opponent. Untaps. This Endbringer can try to shoot down our bees as well. Opponent. Thought not seer. Yep. Tags land destruction. Sure. Well, Endbringer works twice, so Pendlehaven doesn't protect them fully, and it's going to get Sorcerer's Spyglass now. That is a power drawing extra cards. Yep, name's Pendlehaven. Shoots a B. Yeah. Wow, this is this was a long one. Way back a thousand years ago, our opponent ran incredibly well. Like a uh, half hour ago. Yeah, um, all right. Yeah, pass the turn. That one turn where we shuffled. We shuffle the trod piece back at our opponent's library, and they immediately draw it. I think that turn lost us the game. That was the game right there. Uh, you can't protect bees with Pendlehaven because of Sorceress Spyglass, naming Pendlehaven. Hey, thank you, uh, Enilv. Ratchet Bomb. All right. Sure. Well, well, well. Still one more game to go in our stream. Run it back. Here we go. Last game of the stream, Eldrazi Tron. It has been a super long slog. We'll see how it goes. Come on, opponent. One more shot. Well, regardless, this deck is it's super fun. So that's uh that's the most important thing. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if it's super duper competitive, but it is super sweet. Well, this hand is pretty exciting. We have the ramp. We would love to hit some land destruction. That is number one. Something to destroy lands to go with our ramp. We even have Eternal Witness to go with it. So Forest and Arbor Elf. Like, Acid Moss is insane. We can cast it next turn. Plow Unders, any of that stuff is what we want here. Opponent, untaps. Eldrazi Temple. One of my favorite cards in the history of magic. Opponent passes. Oh, play a forest. Play Utopia Sprawl. On green. Go to combat. Get in for one. Hit our opponent. And pass the turn. Opponent. Ghost Quarter. Wow. All right. Ghost Quarter is our land. We get a forest. Opponent passes. Well, sorry, opponent. That is an acid moss. Off the top, you tried, you tried, you tried, you tried. But we top decked it, and you were going to have zero lands. And I'm sorry, Eldrazi Tron. I really am. <laughs> oh, sure. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Live at the zero land life. Any suggested replacements? Oh, boy. They really drew another one, too. Opponent. Extracts Acid Moss. Well, this is an annoyance. Our opponent is going full on Annoyotron. Double Temple. Double Temple. All right. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, there's more bad news coming. We will untap Primal Command. Land on top, search for a creature. That will be a acidic slime. Play the land, pass the turn. We're just gonna keep our opponent on zero lands. We are sticky it to Tron this game. That is the goal. Opponent. Draws Eldrazi Temple, plays Eldrazi Temple. 
and passes. Well, we will crack. We will grab a forest. Untap. Windswept teeth. Well, acidic slime. Blow up. Eldrazi temple. No lands for you, opponent. That is not part of our plan for you to play magic. Get in with Arbrow. Hit our opponent. Windswept teeth. Go. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, Wasteland should definitely not be in Modern. Power Plant. Aw, they have a mana. Come on, repudiate, replicate. Repudiate, replicate. That would be sweet. Found it. Very good. Very good, very good. Well, crack what's up, teeth. Grab a forest. Utopia Sprawl. I'll play Utopia Sprawl. On green. Tap on tap. Tap. How much mana do we have? Eight? Oh, you know what? That's enough to play an Eternal Witness. Get back. Eh, I say Primal Command. Do you have another Surgical? Eh? Oh, they do. Surgical Tribal! Opponent. Where's your sense of fun? Huh. Well, opponent brought in a lot of surgical extractions. Which, I guess makes sense. Well, hit our opponent. Considering our opponent only has one land, unless they just ultra luck into Tron, I don't think that's going to ruin it. Opponent. Oh, yeah. Opponent has one land. Okay. Passes. Well, combat. Attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hit our opponent. And we, we're not going to see a crosses, but we do get to see Hornet Queen come down to clean things up. Hornet Queen, go and take that Tron. Well, if you don't like losing to Tron, this deck is a good way to make sure that doesn't happen. Jay LaFord, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Opponent, Ratchet Bomb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they're still dead, though. We just blew up enough lands. Noble High Arc, don't need it. Combat, swing, and got on a high note. A high note with mono green, or I guess Simic, land destruction. Opponent. Opponent. All right. Go attacking. And. Opponent. Bombs. Hit some. And that's game. Well, the deck is super fun. The original build we played, uh, the, the deck list is in the chat. It is also super cheap. Uh, well, not super cheap, but it is cheap, like 300 bucks. I think the deck is competitive enough that you can win with it. Obviously, we didn't just, like, go 5-0 and crush everyone, but it's competitive enough, and it is a blast to play, especially when it goes well. So, uh, if you're looking for something different and fun to try out at FNM, or on Magic Online or whatever, it seems like a good enough option, and if you like making people miserable, it's a, a really good option. So, anyway, everyone... I think that does it for tonight, but we will be back on Thursday with another stream. Thanks for hanging out. It was a blast. It was super fun to play Modern again. I love you all. It is always fun. So on the way out the door, reminders, replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams, including this one, in the future. Normal YouTube, tons of content coming up. Keep an eye out for that. Merch page, tons of stuff available if you're looking for a way to support the stream and the channel and the site. One more donation on the way out the door today from uh, Zazi, if I can uh, find it. $10 donation from Zazi0745. That was a fun deck, Seth. Can't wait to watch the full replay later. Well, thank you so much, Zazi. And uh, on that note, big thank you to Zazi and everyone else who donated, everyone who just hung out and had a fun time tonight. You're the reason this happens. I love you all. Have a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow. And yeah, we'll be back on Thursday uh, doing some more fun stuff. So until then, have a great day. I'll see you on Thursday.